right, what is up, everyone? Welcome to a special edition of the Spoiler Kings Saturday, Saturday night. Uh, my name is St. Kramer, Brian the Grizzly, Brand Man Brandon. What's going on, you guys? You guys know why it's so special is because we got to we somehow got Brand Man to stay in on a Saturday yeah. night, which is just crazy because you know, the man, you know, he don't sleep. All he does, he does out, goes out. He's amazing. So, hey, Dre, thanks Yo, for joining. Thanks for becoming a member, man. Dre, thanks, so much thanks for joining. For <laughs> I tried. Right, Thank you. <laughs> I, I definitely got playing this one for him. <laughs> she got your ass. <laughs> Appreciate it, Dre Mac, for being a member, man. Thank you so much. Thank you, Dre. Uh, also, go check out Dre Mac's show, man. I know uh, that you do a lot of the, the Jonathan Major stuff. We're going to be posting uh, Jonathan Major's video that we recorded. Of, uh, man, I thought, what was that, like, Monday, I think? Yeah. It's, it should be coming out pretty soon. <laughs> but, Dude, yeah, we're talking Dre about him returning. Does that, that his stuff, you know, it's like 7 Pacific. Like In the morning time, his Dre Mac show yeah. is, is amazing. Very cool. Um, on Mondays, when, when right before we go on, he's on. So I used to wa- watching that. Mm-hmm. Maybe we'll take her in the back, watching it <laughs> before we jump on. So you know, hey, yeah, big he's, up. Uh, to you, man. He's my morning drive every uh, every morning to work. So mm-hmm. <laughs> yeah, so appreciate it, man. Uh, who else we got? We got Brand Man or not Brand Man? We got Brandon Brandon Davis. <laughs> uh, because then somebody's talking Brandon. about because uh, <laughs> the Matt Film Show is uh, on time for the first time. <laughs> Now nah, we're we're super late, man. <laughs> we're super late. Probably my fault. Oh, though. Me, man. I want time. <laughs> yeah, yeah. You were here two hours ago. <laughs> Somebody else's <laughs> sh- show. <laughs> Kyle, what's up? Started at seven. Kyle, oh, yeah. three hours ago. <laughs> <laughs> Kyle like was on that too. Tank tops. He had to stay in. <laughs> <laughs> Brandon, uh, Brandman never goes out without his arms out. You gotta have the gun show ready to go. Yeah. <laughs> oh man uh mama bear what's up hey mama bear you know hey mama bear can't be a real show without having you there so i appreciate exactly. you coming back yeah now it's a party right exactly yeah. <laughs> that's a nice shirt that is a cool shirt with the the david letterman shirt you got on i like that. oh, oh this <laughs> thank rate. you <laughs> that's cool um she goes what's the special session about um so we're gonna get into uh invincible because we didn't talk about it on thursday um since we already all saw ghostbusters we'll probably do a quick review for that and then i think we might, might do one or two uh trailers oh i left all my shit upstairs yeah so you know as, soon as, as soon as erica saw that she was like we're getting it in my eye the thing i liked the most about it was thank you mother bear. so you got smiley face mm-hmm and then on the back, you got like it opens up. Sadly, so they yeah. So with the one that I got, I was hoping that would come with it, like you said, Brian. Because I got the ghost trap uh, popcorn bucket. Um, they came, uh, they they came separately. Yeah, yeah, yeah. They got all my money. Yep, same. <laughs> same. At first, I'm like, all right, I'm for sure getting the ghost trap. And then we walked in, and Erica saw the the the, the puff. cup thing, the stay puff, and uh, and we're like, oh, she goes, oh yeah, we're getting it. I was like, all right, we're getting it. <laughs> uh, oh, we got perp. What's up, perp? perp. perp. What's going on, dude? What's going on. Um, who you got? Ghostbusters. Uh, and then I think uh, old Matt film said is one of our first comments. Yeah. Um, what's up, gang? Hopefully, I get to see Ghostbusters soon. Been excited for this film. Saw Afterlife for the first time last week and enjoyed it. Afterlife was good. Afterlife, Afterlife was, was great. Good. Yeah, I really liked it. Yeah. Hey, did you guys um, get, get the pin? No, I did not get the pin. I I, went I, to hoping, I, I asked about it. They didn't have it. Same at mine. I guess it was, it was legit only Dolby, and oh. where I go doesn't have Dolby. Uh, the one I usually go to. So, yeah. So I, whenever like for Dune, I had to go to a different AMC that's close by, but um, I usually don't like it because the food sucks. <laughs> the one I go to, mm-hmm. the food's actually really freaking good. Yeah, 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 and the seats are comfortable. But yeah, I, I had asked about it. Like, Damn, it. Mm-hmm. I might since I have the AMC at might just 
re- reserve. Put it in there. <laughs> Put it in there. Just walk in. I'm like, can I get the pin? All right, I'll see you later. <laughs> and just walk out. <laughs> oh, that'd be funny. That's oh, perfect. Got his. Yep. Yeah. So nice. I've been thinking about this. I have a lot of stuff to give away. I think I want to do a giveaway. Okay. I think I want to do a mm-hmm. giveaway. So. What? <laughs> What one thing of your entire collection? <laughs> so I have actually have another pin of the Ghostbusters Empire. Oh, I actually nice. got two. Of, I have two actual ones. Oh, uh, damn! <laughs> and then nice. I was going to give away my Matt Murdock uh, Funko Pop. Mm-hmm. So I don't know. I got. I, I have a lot of doubles, so a lot of stuff. So I, I want to mm-hmm. give get some stuff away. Why not? Mm-hmm. Yeah, yeah, nice. free money. <laughs> you know actually, it's funny. Um, Dre Mac is actually giving up or giving away a hundred dollars after after we're done. Really, it's yeah, his members. Yeah, damn, nice. Yeah, so I was like, a hundred dollars, cool. good lord. <laughs> yeah, I want um, to be able to get to that point. That's why we need more members. <laughs> yeah, I know, right? Exactly. Um. Have y'all seen this Don't Tell Mom the Babysitter is Dead remake stuff? Oh, I, w- I won't do it because I, I loved it. I, I love no it. Idea. I, I watched the one like really brief teaser and that was that that told me everything I needed to know. It's um it's it's really not even on, on my radar. It's it's gonna come and go. I actually forgot about the trailer, Brandon, until you mentioned it just now, and I'm pretty sure the, the movie will be just as forgettable. Excuse <laughs> yeah. me. So it's it's not even it's 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 not it's not even on my radar. It's not even outside of my radar. <laughs> like it's beneath you. Yeah. Like, yeah. Mm-hmm. Um. And Brian says, "Sorry for missing Thursday." Uh, no worries, man. No man, it happens. Yeah. No, will no you worries. be in there? I'm telling you, you, Mama Bear. Oh, you guys come in, make the show really does, really does. So we we notice when you're not there. Oh yeah. Like something's missing. Yeah. <laughs> Uh, Kyle said, "Caught Brian slipping today. He was uh he was copping police. He's saying he didn't want no smoke and put it all on tank. Wait, <laughs> for what? I don't remember what I put on tank. Was that Ooh. on uh, on Chill's uh, stream? Yeah, I don't remember what I said. I put something on you. I don't know. I was in and out of that 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 whole stream. <laughs> I mean, I, I I would. Don't get me wrong, <laughs> but I don't know what I did." <laughs> Uh, we got Kenny in the house. What's up, Kenny? Kenny, what's, what's up, up, Kenny? There we a surprise stream. We got yeah. Saturday night. We, we home. We got other things to talk about. Why not? That crazy Chicago weather, <laughs> snowing and <laughs> and uh, like oh man, freaking hail by me for a little bit yesterday. I was like, what the? Hell mm-hmm. I was actually by your house. It was hailing. I was like, what oh, the yeah? hell is going? On? I was by yeah. your house yesterday. Yeah, yeah, yesterday. I don't know around three. One or three. It was like no, it was like two thirty. Yeah. 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 I can't be too surprised. You know, we do live in Chicago. There's no such thing as spring here. No. <laughs> no. No. If it does, it lasts. We're, one we're, day. <laughs> yeah, we're in the we're in the extended uh, winter phase, winter part two. <laughs> mm-hmm. <laughs> mm-hmm. Um. That uh, what big movie comes out in April? Let's come out in April. I mean, I mean, Godzilla comes out next week, and that's not April, but that's why I'm well, mm-hmm. you know, watching that that Easter weekend, which runs to April. Um, yeah. what else comes in the L? Um, Monkey Man, Monkey Man comes out. Monkey Man, see that. that's true. For, yep. uh, the first Omen looks pretty good. I want to see the first Omen. Uh. I'm not getting my hopes up for for the first mm. moment. Was it uh, Un- Ungently Warfare? Oh yeah, that does come out. That- yeah, uh, Abigail. Oh yeah, yeah. Which I, which I do want to see. Civil Boy War kills comes world. out. Boy kills world. Civil War. Yep. I don't know about that challenges one, but whatever. I mean, some people yeah, don't like dude. that. So uh. <laughs> yeah, I'll be curious. Yeah, I'm not really how interested. It does. Yeah, I'll be curious to see how it does. Um, the Sasquatch Sunset comes out. Yeah, I, I, 
I edited that uh, that trailer reaction that we did with Zach uh, last night, and it shit had me mm-hmm. laughing because I was looking at everyone's face, and, and <laughs> I know oh, I was man. probably looking like, "What the hell, dude?" Oh, it was <laughs> it was hilarious, man. It was hilarious. So it had me laughing. So hopefully, when we re uh, release it, probably tomorrow. Have, uh, some I'm going. I, I'm. I, I I have to see that movie in the theater. Yeah, y'all go yeah, see. I, I don't, Let I me know what the hell how it is. <laughs> yeah, uh, Rebel it. Rebel Moon comes out the second part. See how how that does. Yeah, yeah exactly. <laughs> <laughs> I'm see. I might I might go see Abigail. I'll see Abigail before oh, I go yeah. see anything. Oh, those, uh, the other ones. Yeah, the Knuckles uh, gonna... uh, show comes out. On, oh really? Uh, in April? Yeah, I'm looking at. It right oh, it now. sure does. Yeah, that's gonna be. I might just have to. I might just have to go ahead and, and invest in Paramount Plus. Yeah. <laughs> at least for the month. <laughs> mm-hmm. But yeah, that's, that's, that's some good stuff coming out. Spy Family. Yeah, if you're into the anime stuff, that's coming mm-hmm. out. Yeah, they're 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 promoting that heavy. Um, the last two movies I saw, they had the Spy Family uh, trailer playing in front of it. What's that movie, Sting or something like that? Sting, yeah. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. Mm-hmm. Uh, it's a pretty decent lineup in April. They they don't tell uh, my remake is a salt and burn for, burn it for me. Yeah, <laughs> I think I think that comes out in April. So I think you're right. Yeah. Every time she says salt and burn, it reminds me of uh, Supernatural or Supernatural. Yeah, that's probably a, a better reference than mine. <laughs> Um, Perp said, uh, they have a mystery movie on Monday for AMC Unseen. Yeah. Oh, that's nice. Uh, it's yeah, either yeah. going to be the first omen or most likely seeing. I hope, uh, that hope that God is not that babysitter movie. Ooh. I think it's a horror movie from what it's, it's a rated R, it's just a yeah. unseen rated R movie, for March, March 25th. Yeah, yeah, mm-hmm. from what I heard, it, it's gonna be like a, like a horror film, so it's probably first omen or seeing. So, I do want to go to one of those, but I it's it's hard like to actually like go and like if it's a bad movie i'm gonna be pissed <laughs> so mm-hmm. yeah um kyle laugh what's up chill we got chill in the house chill what's going on dude yeah. kyle is a threat to peace <laughs> oh that's funny uh chill very harsh i said uh any chance i get to see that smile smiles good to me good <laughs> uh yeah april's packed April's packed. Uh, I'm really excited for Abigail just because I like uh, I, I, I like the directors, um, yeah. the Radio Silence guys. Yeah, because uh, I really like Ready or Not. Obviously, the last two screen movies. So yeah, um, plus the 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 trailer just looks. Real. I, I like the trailer and I like the cast. Yeah, yeah, same. Mm-hmm. And then the next superhero movie I think is Deadpool. I think that's the only one this year, right? I think that's the only one. Yeah. For Marvel, yes. Marvel is the only uh, one. What's the the oh DC got Joker, right? Mm-hmm. Yeah. Can can you count that one though? I don't know. I don't know. Well, comic. I would say comic book. Movie. Are you guys ready for this Spider Verse uh trail thing that we about to get? I can't wait. Let's go. Yeah. Oh yeah. A Craven and Venom. Yeah. Craven and Venom three. Yeah. Is is Venom three supposed? To, I thought Craven got pushed back to next year. No, Craven. Um, Cra- Craven's um out this year because remember it was supposed to come out in November of last year. They pushed it to August or July, I think, of this year. I think it's August. Um, really? Yeah. Venom. Venom will be in October. They're saying. Hmm. Venom again. Okay. It's going to go with the. What is it called? Last Dance or something stupid? That's stupid. And on the Last Dance, yeah. Yeah, super working title right now. Uh, where we go? Where we go? Where we go? Haven't heard of Spy Family. It's an anime. It's an anime. So if you don't watch anime, you really <clears throat> don't it's know. Fine. It's yeah. Fine. Uh, the altered content setting for YouTube uploads. I just saw it for the first time. Uh. I did not. Okay. Mm. Okay. We'll I got. I got look at that. Yeah, I'm gonna message you on Discord. And talk about that because I'm kind of curious. Um, 
if there's not gonna be anything for Captain Marvel three or Ant Man four, Eternals two, uh, where's Captain Marvel Ant Man showing up next? I heard Secret Wars. Secret Wars, yeah, 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 yeah. Oh, the babysitter's rated R. Really? Really? It is. It is. Um, it is rated R. It, it show. I think I saw it on the poster for it. I don't oh. need to see it then. Okay, thank you. <laughs> I'm not going Monday. Thanks for the heads up. <laughs> And then we got ABC Cinema. What's up? Uh, you guys got to check out that new uh, Devil movie late night uh, show set in the seventies. I kind of want to see it. I've been hearing like awesome things about it. Yeah, yeah. Mm-hmm. My I had a lunch with my sister today, and she said uh, her and her boyfriend went to go see it. And she said, mm-hmm. like, uh, you know, obviously she didn't spoil it, but she said it was a lot of buildup, and the ending wasn't a big enough payoff for her. Um, but really? she's also really, really harsh on on movies. <laughs> So, mm-hmm. like, really harsh sometimes on movies. So, yes, but I, I still want to check it out. It looks interesting. Same. It looks really interesting. So. Yeah. No. No. <laughs> <laughs> it's with uh, what's his name, the Polka Dot Man. Yeah, uh, David uh, Desmokian. I think is how you say his name. Something like that. Yeah. Yeah. Late night with the devil. Uh, nope. <laughs> because I was about to watch World House, so I saw you. Yeah, hey, that's hey awesome. uh, I I enjoyed the Roadhouse. I oh, did you watch it. I, I watched. It. I liked it. I I watched, I watched it last night. Oh, nice. Damn. I, I watched the other that. movie with um Billy Bobby Brown too. Um, that Damn. Damn. That's crazy. I I just watched it a couple of hours ago today. <laughs> yeah, so that wasn't, yeah. wasn't bad either. I was like, okay. I mean, it was. I mean, it wasn't good. But it wasn't bad. Yeah, it wasn't bad. Yeah. yeah was, I don't know if they're going to get a franchise out of it. I don't think they will franchise. It. I'm glad they finished the movie. <laughs> Let's finish the movie. We're good. All right. Yeah. I'm out. But, yeah, Conor McGregor goes crazy in that one. That's what I heard. I heard Conor McGregor's <laughs> been crazy in real life too. So hey, <laughs> that's just who he is. He was, he was fun to watch in it. Yeah, yeah. I got to watch that one. This stupid walk. <laughs> uh, I can't wait to see you. Can we see you, Winnie the Pooh, Blooded Honey 2 on Tuesday? Is that... A, it, wait, no. Is that already coming out? Yeah. Really? I'm done. Nope. Damn. Nope. Derpy, get out of here. Who are you going to call? Brian Paul's. Brian Paul's. Um, uh, yeah, I mean... That's who you're going to call every single time. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Every time the Steelers, hey, we need somebody. I'm going to put gonna... a, a call, a blocker. Anytime it's a Pittsburgh uh, area code. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Secret <laughs> War is gonna be Avengers five, I believe. Yep. So, yeah. So, yep. I was actually talking about this uh, with Chill and Dre Mac. Um, no, Secret War is gonna be Avengers six. Avengers five was gonna be King Dynasty, right? It was gonna be King Dynasty, but now oh, it's Avengers called, five. It's just called Avengers five now. Now it's just Secret Wars will be technically the six uh, ensemble, you know, kind of thing. But what oh, yeah. they've done is they, they said, uh, hey, though it's changed, it changed the name. Avengers 5 is still going to be, um, still have a Kang in it. Kang is still going to be huge in Avengers 5. And did you guys see on Twitter that you know, Jonathan Majors has been working out for a new mm-hmm. movie role? And he's like hoping, you know. Mm-hmm. And Marvel still and Disney still hasn't officially fired him. I'm just saying, follow the dots. <laughs> yeah. I wouldn't be surprised if Jonathan Majors was in in the movie. Yeah, same. Yeah. I wouldn't rule it out. Yeah, because I wanted who was who was the first group of of like reporters that said he's out. It's probably Variety, <laughs> right? They they yeah. definitely have. Uh, I forgot. Um, yeah, but yeah, it was Disney never came out. You know, uh, Feige or Disney rep or anybody ever came out and was like, "We're moving on." You know, so they changed just, the name, changed the, the focus, but they haven't done everything else yet. So I wouldn't be surprised, guys. All of a sudden, yeah. you see him in Avengers Five. I'd be cool with that. I mean, also it was in his contract, right? It was in his contract that he's going to play every single version of King. You know, what I mean, yeah. so there would have to be a breach of contract. I mean, does the court case do it or not? I I don't know. I don't know. I mean, there's a lot of I mean, logistics. It has to be with cause, but I think that he has a big 
following. So if you look at all the, the uh, look online, there, there's a lot of, of, of things talking about it, mm-hmm. about it, mm-hmm. the, the, the huge swelling of you know, support that he's getting from a lot of people. So that might be enough for Disney, Marvel to bring him back, even if it's only for one movie to finish the arc. Yeah, I, I agree. I agree. Yeah, because he's not going to stick around for the next 10 years, you know, like Secret Wars. And then that was probably it. Right. I mean, that was the mm-hmm. original plan anyway. So two more movies. That was, all, that was the original plan. Yeah. Yeah. So, yeah. Uh, you have to select whether or not your video contains AI. One of the questions, do you have something that says you, you did, did, did? Oh, like the AI thing. Yeah. I heard about that. I didn't know if it was true or not. Bro, and then we got a uh, real quick. We got Cleves. Welcome, um, Cleves. welcome back, you, bro. Another come back to the, the membership. Let's see. Plays. I haven't played this one in a while. Oh, I like you, Pussycat. Yes. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> um. Yeah. I appreciate you, Cleves. Thanks, Cleves. All right. Um. Let me see that. What's up? Did you react to the penguin? No, not yet. So we'll, that's probably we'll do that one tonight because that's going to be a big one. Um, mm-hmm. Yeah, like then, a billion trailers. So oh, there's so many. Yeah, Shutter and Neon going crazy, running with horror lately. Oh, Shutters, that's what they're known for. <laughs> I love Beast Wars. It's amazing. I love. I love Beast Wars. Is awesome. Yeah. Um. All right. You say he liked it. Okay, it's on my list. I want to see it. I want to see it. Um, all right, let's get started, guys. Let's yeah. do. You, okay. you want, let's do. Uh, let's do the invincible real quick. We we didn't carry over that. All right. Or do you want to do the trailer first? Cool. We can do. We can do. Oh, let me. Uh, before I forget, I made a a background for the Ghostbusters. Let's see if it looks all right. Yeah, good enough. <laughs> All right. Yeah, let's talk about the events. Well, it'll be a quick one. Mm-hmm. Uh, what is it? They changed the name to Beasties. Oh, I like it. <laughs> Beasties. And what? All right. Le- Where are we at? All right. Let's talk about oh, invincible real quick. <clears throat> All right, welcome to the Spoiler Kings. My name is St. Kareem with Brand Man Brandon, Brian DeGrizzly, and we're going to talk about the last episode, or the, the newest episode of Invincible. I believe it was episode six, I think it was, of yeah. season two. It's not that um, simple. Is that what it's called? It's not that simple, yeah. Yeah, yeah. So, um, pretty good episode, but what, what do you guys think about it right off the bat, Brandon? Oh, I loved it. Um it, it, it has me interested as someone who's never read the Invincible graphic novels, especially where they're going to go with Nolan. Um, uh, that was probably like my, my biggest like hook, like my biggest question by the time it ended. I still like how they're, um, this show is just a great balance of, you know, like a typical superhero tropes, like the action, that sort of thing. Um, you know, Mark's um, relationship in, in um, like civilian life. Um, it, but I, I, I think it handles them in a, in a more kind of compelling way than what I'm used to, uh, which is something that I really, really like about it. I, um, and then the graphic violence, which, uh, which kind of feels like it belongs somewhere else, but at the same time, it fits in this role. I, I think that's awesome. Um, I think that, um, yeah, and, and I think it always leaves me with questions. It always leaves me wanting more. And, you know, this this season, they've really kind of stepped their game up, I think. So um, I already watched it twice. I already watched um, every Invincible episode more than once just to kind of make sure that I didn't miss anything. So I'll probably watch it once or twice more before the new episode. Mm-hmm. And that post credit okay. scene, like, I'm, 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 I want to like. I'm, I'm curious to see what happens next. Long story short. 
Yeah. Yeah. Okay. What were you, Brian? <clears throat> Rex getting shot in the head was something I want to do since season one. So, yes. Yeah. Thank you for that. I've been waiting for season, since season one to shoot him in the face. And the fact that he's still alive, I mean, blood is gushing out of his head. He's, just, he's still alive. I'm like, no what hand. is going on? He's in a hand. He has no hands. He's Luke Skywalker, and it. it's crazy. <laughs> <laughs> I was like, what is going on, Rex? Um, I, I felt the whole thing between Mark and his girl. I, 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 I knew that was coming. I, I and I, mm-hmm. I said, I said, people saying like, you see it, you see it happen, you see it happening, and it, it happened. But what I did, I was surprised about was that Eve seemed so interested in it, and then with yeah. being so interested in it, then uh, what, what's her name? What's what's uh her his name? His girlfriend's name? Um, Amber. Amber. Amber going to see Eve to talk about it was so interesting. And so Eve has to still continue to be the friend, even though she obviously has feelings for Mark. Still, it was it, it was. I just thought that was really complicated and really cool the way it was done because it really it's not a triangle, but you know, because Eve still is there with Rex too. So I mean, it's just so many things that's kind of convoluted. But I, I feel like we know eventually Mark and Eve have to get together. I think, but mm-hmm. that's just something I I I, I feel like is happening. And then the whole thing with uh, Mark's mom oh, and his, his brother, that's just so weird. So weird all the time. <laughs> I'm like, all right. So you have Debbie. Like, and he's calling her mom. Yeah. Mama. <laughs> and you know she has to feel a certain type of way. So what, what's going to happen when, when Omni-Man comes back? <laughs> when sees his, his purple baby calling his ex-wife mama. Yeah, this with with, a, it, with his with his pet, right? Exactly. <laughs> That's crazy. Yeah. That's crazy. Like, um, obviously, you know, the the whole thing with Cecil is, is interesting too. Mm-hmm. And I, I loved. Um, say what, what else happened in this episode? Um, Alan. Alan. Oh my back. god, Alan. Alan mm-hmm. coming in. The, the introduction that was really cool and just see it, you know, trying to be, beat him up and, you know, obviously going crazy, but Alex just whatever. And Alex sits on the bed and just breaks the entire bed. We see how strong he's getting, how dense he's getting, and that he's going to be really in, important. So now we got, mm-hmm. you know, Alan and two Ventramites that be able to fight the collective and then don't let Omni Man get, get released. Now we have have a, a war that they actually have some 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 ammo. Uh, mm-hmm. I'm hoping that we get that. You know, even though Omni Man was thrown away really so so easily, I feel like he's kind of playing possum. You know, mm-hmm. you know, seeing that he's weaker, he is, so he's not a, a threat. That's why they keep him alive, hoping that he will come back to the, the collective. But then he yeah. gets his opportunity to leave. Now he he doesn't know what's going on, but he gave Mark those those books. Well, those books were really cool, and yeah, and, and foreshadowing, and um, just all these little things are just it seems little, but you can see this is a big concept that's going to really carry the series into the future. And I'm actually getting more and more upset knowing that we only got a couple more episodes, and then I got to wait another n- another whatever months we got for the season yeah. two. So yeah, all that yeah. was really cool. That, that that was one thing I was worried about when it first came out, how much I loved season one, where I had mm-hmm. to go read the books because whenever anything's turned into like a TV show, it always runs the risk of just being done. Like, that's it. We're done. No more seasons. And then you're you're just kind of done you know, with it. So I, I enjoyed it so much that I had to go read it because if it ever ends, like I need us, I need to know the story. Um, and I'm glad I did because sure. it, it's it's an amazing story. Um, and every, all the characters are are great. You know, like I, I feel like I, I was never fully ever really disappointed with any of them. Um, mm. But yeah, so they you know, and and just with this episode though, um, for me, I thought it was it was it was a lot of fun. It was a lot of fun seeing seeing like like Brian said with Amber and Eve and Mark. Um, even with Rex, you know, I think Rex, like he, he had to almost die to realize you know, he was being an asshole. So, you know, even ha- having stuff like that was was pretty cool, mm-hmm. you know. So, 
Yeah. Yeah. I mean, Alan, lo- I love Alan. You know, Alan is, is such a, a great character that has such a, an interesting story, you know, mm-hmm. and, and, and even now it's, 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 you're starting to see like all, like what he can do and who he kind of is and stuff like that. So, yeah, you know, it's, it's super cool. And I love, love, you know, they're showing more of the little bits of Omni Man, you know, and what's kind of, kind of going on with him. But yeah. Yeah, it's it, this one was a lot, a lot, a lot of fun. Um, mm-hmm. Have they said there's a season three on its way? Uh, yeah, I thought they already announced that when they did season two. Yeah, they yeah, said they're uh, doing like yeah. Stephen Young two weeks ago said uh, they're already working on Invincible season three. Mm-hmm. So, yeah, probably gonna be well over is. another. Yeah. I'm probably gonna have to wait another two years. <laughs> oh god, don't say that, man. <laughs> no, I'd like to see it be in a year. Yeah, I would get part yeah. one. <laughs> yeah, no, so, I'll be. It would be nice if we get like season three sometime this this year. You Can know? you imagine November or just late or early December? Yeah, that'd be, that'd great. be great, which would be amazing. Yeah, that'd be that'd be super great. And now maybe they they can like knock out a bunch of seasons. You know, now they mm-hmm. they see the popularity. Season three, you know, knock that out. Season four, bring that in, and and you know, R- Robert Kirkman is is involved in it, you know. So, you know, the liberties they are taking and things they are mixing together and stuff makes sense. Um, but you're able to kind of cut some of the fat and streamline it a lot better, you know. So hopefully, with him still being involved, uh, you know, maybe you can get like four, five seasons out of it. And maybe you know, I can see the whole story being done in five seasons. Oh, for sure by then. <laughs> Here's First the issue. Later. The names. How do you have time for all of them to really get the work done? Yeah. That's the issue. You know, Stephen Young, J.K. Uh, Sim- uh, Simmons, Sandro, you know, Seth Rogen, Mark Hamill, Walton, uh, Walton G- Goggins. You know, it's, it's just Zazie Beats. You know, the, the their Beats schedules are, are nuts. Yeah. Michael Dorn. Like, I mean, Jason, uh, how do you say his name? Benzuka, uh, Benzukas. Like yeah. there's so many alien, like there people I didn't even realize were on that. Like Mahershala mm-hmm. Ali was Titan. Like there's so many oh, people. Oh, yeah. <laughs> How are you gonna get all these people to do all this stuff? Yeah, that that uh, that's I think the biggest issue you have, you know. But well, they signed a contract. They're gonna they'll they'll find a way to make time. Yeah, but they, yeah. They, if they you can do voiceover, happen. I think you could probably do it a lot quicker. You know what I mean? Like, especially mm-hmm. if you get the animation done, you have the story, script, and everything. Like, okay, cool. We're gonna record like five episodes just in one day. You know, or I want like whatever they could do. You know what I mean? Um, I think like, they're probably not doing it together. They probably just have to do their voiceover. And they have to put it together. But even then, Marshall Ali ain't gonna have time. You know, like uh, yeah. Seth Rogen barely has time to do nothing. Peter Cullen. Peter Cullen. <laughs> yeah, Peter Cullen you know, too. Jeffrey Donovan. Like there, there's so yeah. many people. Like there yeah. like, how? Yeah. How? And and like I don't know if it's spoiled, yeah, but like, here's yeah, oh yeah. Yeah, yeah, he's not really doing much. What is, what is he doing? <laughs> yeah. I, I'm pretty sure he's all of them are working yeah. so much. Yeah, you know. Um, but I mean, I mean, as the story goes on, there's 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 new characters, you know, gonna be introduced, and and obviously it seems the way they're going is they're getting big people. To do these voice actors mm-hmm. so you know there's already a lot of fan theories on voice people they want for certain characters and stuff like that so I, yeah that's that's the biggest issue is is getting the voice actors together like, <laughs> you know or you just get a script you could probably get a script done you know say by july You're getting all yeah. the voice actors to get all this stuff done and then the animation it just seems like it's a lot yeah yeah, animation is probably obviously the, the longest, I would assume. It's not hand drawn, um, so I mean, uh, and it's uh, all yeah. so and you know, I, I but yeah, render rendering usually takes a lot of time and a lot of that stuff. You know, the the voices <laughs> aren't too bad. I I assume I don't really don't know what uh what voices um have. Oh yeah, Ben Schwartz was in it. That's what I'm saying. The, the, the people that are, are are voices in this, like damn, like even for season two, Chloe Bennett. Tatiana Maslany, Ben Schwartz, Peter Cullen, Leah Thompson, uh, Callista Flockhart, um, Phil Lamar, uh, uh, David Diggs. You know, those, and those are just from season two. You know, that's mm-hmm. not even bringing everyone back. 
from season one. Yeah. She was more fluid in the X-Men animation. X-Men's animation. I mean, CGI usually is. You know, I love the X-Men animation. Because they're, they're, they're drawn. Yeah. Stuff yeah. Too. I think it's like, I think they said like 80% or something. There's like, like most of it is hand drawn, you know, but, um, <laughs> but yeah, it's more fluid because it's, it's CGI. You're able to, you know, when, when computers are involved, you're able to make it look a little bit smoother. But to talk about artificial intelligence works and helps out a lot. So, mm-hmm. yeah. So, but, you know, we still got two more episodes. Oh, man. Oh, real quick. So, so spoilers if anybody who doesn't watch it, we already kind of spoiled it. But I want to get into that post credit scene real quick with, uh, um, um, uh, what's his name? Angstrom Levy. Angstrom Levy? Yeah, Levy. You know, the, we saw him go through a few different dimensions, which is cool, or realities. I forget what it is. One of them was The Walking Dead. Like, obviously, mm-hmm. a bunch of zombies, Walking Dead, which makes sense because Robert Kirkman. Um, mm-hmm. He was just like walking. Eat. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> oh, and that was so cool. I, I thought that was like so interesting. Is He just walks and everything's just like new, new, new. Um, where did he end? Like, what world did he in end? There. In there. In the main one? Yeah. There. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Okay. Yeah. So that that was my only thing. Is like, I didn't I didn't go back and watch uh, Easter eggs. You know, you know, usually you got like new rock stars and heavy spoilers, mm-hmm. do Easter eggs and stuff like that. I haven't watched that one yet. Um, but that was the only thing. I was like, where did he end up? And like, was it the original one or was it a different one? No, I mean, stairs. He yeah. said, "I'm coming to see a friend. I think it's come to go." Yeah. But Mark again. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, so two more episodes. He's reintroduced from what the first episode. Mm-hmm. We haven't seen him do anything since then. Um, yeah, any, any theories on what what he's going to do, or what he might do, or or what? I think he kidnaps Amber, something like that. Mm-hmm. Amber Re- revenge mission. <laughs> Long story short. Yeah, revenge mission. Okay. Yeah. So. Yeah, this is super awesome. I, I love that, you know, season three is at least getting worked on already, according to Stephen Young. Um, mm-hmm. So, um, but yeah, anything else you guys missed out on uh, on this last episode? I don't know, there's a little stuff about, about, about Omni-Man now, and I'm looking at him and what's going to happen, how is he going to get loose, and the fact that he refuses to just pronounce what he said, like, in you know, just come back to the collective. I thought that's really interesting. Um, his impending yeah. doom is just something that's coming. You know, what? it's coming. And the kid with Katie said, that's funny. Yeah. That astronaut just can't catch a break. Yeah, he's like, I'm so tired. I just want some sleep. Not today, man. <laughs> Coughing up. What did I teach you? Never cough anything up. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Which I thought was kind of like, I'm like, really? Like, you, you. I'm assuming he got checked out by, um, you know, uh, Cecil doctors and stuff like that. You isolation, know. Or something. yeah. Like no one did a scan up. Like no one did a scan, X-ray, MRI, future weird alien technology they might have. Like nothing. They're just like, oh yeah, get out of here, go back home, you crazy little guy. Like, like what? So, we release a plague onto this world. Yeah. Oh, I did forget one thing. Um, um, the guy coming back, uh, the roommate's like, oh, yeah. boyfriend. Yeah. Yeah. Mm-hmm. What What do you guys think about that? Oh, just wait till he wait till he kills himself. <laughs> commit suicide. I, I'm telling you. I, I you tell think that that's him? Yeah. Yeah. I'm just curious to get an explanation as to how he's back. You know, he's he's part robot. That's what they did. They did the same yeah. thing they did to what you call it and. Mm-hmm. Uh, the, the the guy with the glasses. Yeah, yeah. yeah. They did the same yeah. thing that they did to him, and that, that's what happened. And that's why he's he's responsible for watching after him. Mm. Yeah, and oh, he's gonna kill yeah. himself because he doesn't yeah. feel like he's there or not there. And he's gonna he's gonna commit suicide, which is gonna be tough. But in this this type of show, you could see it actually happening. Yeah, mm-hmm. yeah. I don't and know how they show it. A thing. They, they mm, yeah. I don't think they might just show it, but I, I don't think I don't think so. This is a lot. That's a lot yeah. to show. I think you hear it and then, and then they cut to him, you know, on the on the yeah. Kind of thing. Yeah. It's not the boys. 
Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> the FCC is like, listen, Amazon, you only get one. Exactly. <laughs> Which one's gonna be crazy? Yeah. So <laughs> let that let the astronaut nap. Thought he won. <laughs> Thought he won. Um, but cool. Yeah. So you know, we're we're talking about the invincible. It's really good, man. It's so good. Um, if you haven't mm-hmm. watched it yet, go back, catch up, watch season one, catch up with season two. Uh, I know uh, uh, Brandon Davis is is catching up with it, and he was just like, "What did I miss?" So, mm-hmm. so he's like, "He's oh man, I'm like one episode in." I was like, "Yeah, man, like that's just season one." And then season two happens, so definitely catch up with it. Uh, two more episodes left for the season. Um, it's it's gonna be interesting. It's gonna be fun. I'm I'm interested to see where they're gonna go with these last couple episodes and what they're gonna do. Um, but you know, we want to hear from you guys watching. Leave a comment down below. Let us know what you think about this episode and where it might end. You know, we got two more left. Um, hit that like button. Hit that subscribe button, too. It helps us out a lot. Um, but we appreciate everyone checking us out on the replay and on live. And uh, if you're watching live, stick around. We're going to talk about our next topic. Hanzo, what's up? Yeah. What's going on, man? Yo, what's up? I think he was on uh uh on Loki Cave. Oh, yes. I, I saw him live. I don't know. I don't know what you guys were talking about yet. I expect oh, you to be there on Monday. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. We, I'll we'll, probably send we'll send out all the stuff to you. Yeah. Send it. Uh, get rid of this. It's Halo. I put some respect on some Halo because Halo is the it's the ish. Did you, did you catch up, Brandon? Please say you caught up. No, I, I'm, I'm just gonna. You, I, I, I guess you, I'm just you gonna have to get Paramount Plus. Yeah, you need yeah. I'm just gonna have to get it. <laughs> it, is, it is so good, dude. Mm-hmm. I, I literally, I remember I was watching it. I jumped up and said, "Mother Master Chief, <laughs> let's go!" It was great, dude. He was epic. Mm-hmm. They finally got the right tone, even with the mask yeah. off. They got the tone. They understood what it is that makes him so epic. I. I mm-hmm. Boy, I, I could talk about it for real. <laughs> yeah, it. Oh man, that was that was, a, that was a good a good ending, a good cliffhanger for the season. Like that's how you do it. That's how you do it. Mm-hmm. You go, oh my god, that fight. Oh, yeah, god. it was yeah. so good. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah, and the graphics. I mean, even I'll give it. Even in season one, the graphics were were always pretty good. Um, I thought they were here, pretty good in season this one. This was crisp, though. I, was, I think, yeah. You know, when they put the aliens next to like, you know, Master Chief and like everyone kind of interacting together, it was like it, it looks so flawless. Like it, it they really spent some time with the, the it graphics. has to cost a billion dollars to be able to do right? all that stuff that for this the show. Man. You need someone to watch watch the the show with, Brandon? That's what's going on. <laughs> what? Yeah. You need somebody to watch it with. I'm over here all by myself. So <laughs> <laughs> that's exactly what I have to do. I have to, I have to push everyone away from me. Close the door yeah. and watch it in <laughs> silence. Like, get away from me, guys. Like, leave me alone. It's a cartoon, Daddy. Can I watch it? No, get away from me. <laughs> <laughs> Not that kind of cartoon. Uh, I'm looking for that. Uh, heck is it? The Furiosa trailer. We can always talk about Ghostbusters because I don't take no time. Yeah, and then just do a bunch of trailers. Yep. So we got the the Furiosa, the Penguin. There might be a few others. Oh, gee. <laughs> the racists are mad at X Men. <laughs> I just got, got that popped up as, as like a recommended video for me. They're such idiots. Yeah, they're they're getting their they're getting their representation in the forms of the friends of humanity and like the anti mutant crowds in the show. So what are they bitching about? Because they don't understand what, what X Men was was for. What was the whole point? Yeah, yeah. yeah. Even though you know everyone knows why I'm mad. So yeah, yeah. I was talking yeah. to somebody about. Well, it. I was I like. Know. Can Disney get in trouble if they make some of the the Friends of Humanity characters, even like the background characters, 
look similar enough to some of these like people complaining on YouTube because they they have they, ha they have big channels. I you know I can't deny that they got a viewing, they have a following. Mm -hmm. It sucks that they have a, a following like that for that reason. Um, so they're they're pretty popular, you know, and they all have like certain looks as as I think most you know people on mm -hmm. on social media do. Um, can Disney get in trouble for kind of? Kind of getting close, like, well, that kind of looks like this person, yes, yeah, you can't do that, yeah. I mean, it's also like, here's a basic white guy, you know, it's like, mm -hmm. it's not that hard, <laughs> you know what I mean? Like, every, like I saw oh, a picture man. today, I'm like, why does it look like there's like five me's in the pool, <laughs> like, like <laughs> fat white guys with beards? I was like, what the fuck? <laughs> I messaged my friend who took the picture, like, I hate you. <laughs> But yeah, uh, but I was like, yeah. You know. Hey guys, don't forget about House of Dragon too. Oh yeah, yeah, those are two. Oh, yeah. Um. All right, all right, all right. So who are you gonna watch? <laughs> yeah, the Ghostbusters. Uh, logic confuses people. Yeah, hell yeah. Um. All right. Let's we get, let's talk about these Ghostbusters. Wait, what you'll say? We get to. Why is hot only eight episodes? House of House of Dragon. House of House of. Yeah. Uh, um. Is it? Well, because it, it wouldn't be like hot D. Yeah, hot D. That's what he said though. He said yeah. Said. yeah. Um, money. Yeah, how much they gotta be spending a bunch of money? I mean, they're hour long episodes, so that's like. Basically, like two movies. Mm -hmm. Twenty million per episode. That's actually not that bad. That's one hundred sixty million dollars for a season. The Game of Thrones spinoff has an estimated budget of two hundred million for the first season. Uh, the cost per episode of House of the Dragon is only five million more than the cost of the series finale. Of of uh, Game of Thrones, so I'm assuming if 200 million for the first season, mm -hmm. damn, man, they're gonna spend that money anyway. And it feels <laughs> right. That money is not for the actors. No. <laughs> Those actors are not making that money. It's no. no one. <laughs> they're not making that much. I mean, I can see some of them. Matt Smith. Is probably the most paid. Max Smith is probably the biggest two million dollars, and that's probably more than everybody else combined. Yeah, <laughs> Just, yeah, yeah. <laughs> you're not wrong. Yeah. Oh, and then Brand said, "I'm hearing good things about Shogun. I'm hearing amazing things." Yeah, nothing but, a, but yeah, nothing I, but terrific things. Around. Yeah, I've only I watched got, the first episode, and I'm liking it. I am yeah. yeah, yeah. So okay, Matt Smith. No, but I mean, yeah, he's the only big name. So if he's if he's your highest paid actor, and just say it's say it's two million, I don't know. Yeah, just like, put a number out there. That's mm -hmm. not a lot. You know, that's what a drop in the bucket. That's what it is. Yeah, two hundred million, and he gets what one percent of that it goes towards Matt Smith. Like, yeah. So it's just it's it's crazy. Uh, how much is he getting paid? Let me go. Uh, salary. I wonder they uh, they might not talk about That's, it. They're gonna have to take season two. Yeah. <laughs> well, obviously, I know how much he he made because even for season one, he had to have made a decent amount because he was already well known. You know, Doctor Who and Doctor Who. You know. mm -hmm. But yeah, I mean, he's the highest paid guy for sure. Doctor House Cosby, exactly. <laughs> I didn't know that. Uh, that he Hiro Saka, actor. Yeah. Uh, not, not, yeah. 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 He's he's been around for a while. Mm -hmm. Yeah. He was a uh, was he Scorpion? That was the same guy who played Scorpion, right? He was Scorpion. Yeah. Yep. Yeah. Good yeah. Yeah. Didn't like really. I thought. I thought. I thought you would have loved it. 
Because that seems like kind of right up your alley, man. Yeah, but I can see, also, if it's not detailed and in the right lore, then I can I can understand that. Yeah. I have, like I said, I haven't seen it yet, but the original, I watched a lot because my grandfather watched it. So I wa- watched it just, you know, by sitting there. Um, and I liked it, mm-hmm. you know, and that was like not good quality. You know, mm-hmm. this one, it looks like the trailers and everything looks really good. So I got I to gotta check it out. But but people are saying, like, it's the best thing on TV right now. Mm-hmm. Let's go. Yeah, exactly. All right. Let's do this Ghostbusters. We can knock this out, like, in, like, 10 minutes. That's what we feel about it, guys. That's what yep. we feel about it. <laughs> yep. All right. Let's do this one. All right, welcome to the Spoiler Kings. My name is Tank Kramer with Brain Man Brandon, Brian the Grizzly, and we are going to talk about and review Ghostbusters Frozen Empire. Um, so we're going to get into there you go, got the, the slammer butt <laughs> grabbing by the crack right there. <laughs> I saw where you're touching them. Oh, I'm missing mine, man, it's making me feel <laughs> and that one. That one's the that I like that one. That one's super cute. That was super cute, yeah. Um yeah, so we're gonna talk about Ghostbusters, uh, the new weekend blockbuster that everyone was kind of hyped for and waiting for. Uh, so we're gonna get to our ratings at the end. We're gonna get to our dislikes and our likes. Um, but real quick, do you have a synopsis, uh, Brian? Always do. <clears throat> All right. All right. <laughs> the Spangler family returns to the iconic New York City firehouse where the original Ghost- Ghostbusters have taken Ghostbusting to the next level. When the discovery of an ancient artifact unleashes yeah, evil force. The Ghostbusters. So, I'm sorry, just lost myself. Oh no, I got started all over again. <laughs> just had it. And it just oh, like refresh. Oh my god, this went bad. I'm gonna start that one more time. <laughs> Take <it>. two. <laughs> the Spangler family returns to the iconic New York City firehouse, where the original Ghostbusters have taken Ghostbusting to the next level. When the discovery of an ancient artifact unleashes an evil a force. Ghostbusters, new and old, must unite to protect their home and save the world from a second ice age. Yeah, yeah. So, um, so yeah. So we're gonna jump right into our likes. Um, Brand man, what you like about this one? Um, I liked that they did bring it back to New York with the new cast. You know, when you think of Ghostbusters, um, you know, you think you know, catch and ghost to New York. So that was cool that they brought it back there. Um, as for the new generation of Ghostbusters, I think um, like an actor like Paul Rudd just, just suits this kind of content. So he was always, um, he's, he was great, like, like he usually is. Um, I liked the, and you know, the OG has coming back. Obviously that was great, um, including the character of Walter Peck. It's <laughs> still trying to, Still trying to bring uh, take the Ghostbusters down. I w- thought it was pretty well directed. Uh, the guy who directed it, Gil Kennan, I think the content was definitely up his alley because he wrote the um, he co-wrote Afterlife with Jason Reitman. Um, he did one of my favorite animated and Halloween theme movies, Monster House, which I always need to, which I always have to watch every year during Halloween. Um, so I thought him taking over for Jason Reitman, he did a pretty good job directing wise. Um, in the it was it was well acted enough, and you know some of the new ghost characters were cool. I'd say that uh, those and they didn't completely ignore Ghostbusters two this time. And I've I've always liked Ghostbusters two, so it was kind of nice to see them um, kind of uh, acknowledge that, acknowledge yeah. that one. Yeah. Okay. Um. Uh, before we go on, you're like crackling, crackling a, lot. a lot. Yeah. Like. Uh. Like. Every time we talk. Every time we talk. Like, yeah. Yeah. Me. Yeah. yeah. Shit. <laughs> um. Let me try logging out. I'll log back in. Okay. Go for just it. Just check your ear right. earbuds. It might just be disconnected. Um. Is that any different? The same, still the same. Let me switch them out. I'll be right back. All right, all right, all right. Okay. Yeah, we'll, we'll wait for Brandman to come back. All right, all right, good. Uh, remove him for now, just in case. 
Um, so yeah, so I don't, I will, we'll wait and then we'll get into your likes. Um, yeah. I didn't know that yeah. uh, Jason Blumfield died in 2022 when he was young because they said he died in 2022. Uh, he received a posthumous producer credit on the film, so he died. Oh, oh, really? Yeah, who, who was he? Name sounds familiar, but it's Blumenfeld. I feel like he did all the other ones, right? He did End of Watch. He did Labor Day. Oh, uh, was he like a producer then? Yeah. Okay. Okay. So I was like, oh man, that's pretty cool to get a producer credit even after you passed. Yeah, that's cool to do that. I know he was part of Afterlife, but I don't know if he actually was a producer on Afterlife. Yeah. I know that uh, I was going to, I had, I didn't look it up. I'm trying to see now. Did Ivan Reitman, Reitman, did he, did he die? Yeah, he did. 2022. Chip. Yeah. Because it said like at the end of for Ivan, I'm like, did he die? I was like. Yeah, he died. Last year or the year before? Yeah, 2022. Th- no, yeah, again? 2021. Uh, can you can you hear me now? Nah. Yeah, still, no, do you, still fuzzy. Shit. Go ahead, log out, log back in, see if that's. Yeah. Okay. All right. Uh. Did one of the OG Ghostbusters die, or am I tripping? Yeah. Um. Uh. Hail the Remus. He's the he's one of the guys who wrote the original. Um, well, they put that in like uh, Egon, yeah, um, Egon, you know Spangler. He uh, that's why he didn't show up. That he was a ghost, which was which was what I liked about the first one. I thought they handled that pretty good. They um, did do a good job. It's better than you know keeping them alive like you do a fast the fast <laughs> franchise. Yeah, you know, but also yeah. not pro- trying to profit off his death. Yeah. Yeah, you're 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 kind of paying homage to the character and also like a little bit of the person, but more like the character because the character was was important to to it all. Um, but also, it makes sense why this guy, you know, would come back as a ghost in a movie called Ghostbusters, where there's literally ghosts all around. Like, yeah, like have him come in, have him do that. You know, they did like CGI or you know AI or something like that for him and. Um, yeah, I thought they did a good job in Afterlife bringing him back for a little bit. All right. I hope I don't right. sound terribly fuzzy this time. Still there a little bit. I don't know if it's, it's as crackle. bad. Yeah. It's a little crackle. It's not as bad. My mom was, it was, it was It was pretty bad. Yeah. Yeah. Is it any different when I consistently talk mm-hmm. like this? I just reduced his background sound, and I think it's going to be all right. Okay. Okay. Yeah. That'd be all right. All right. Let's, let's keep it going. Um, all right, Brian. What did you like about this one? Um, I liked the story. I liked the original cast being there. Um, I liked the nostalgia. That's what I really liked. The only thing, I mean, it, it was very nostalgic. It, everything was good. Like if, if you're you're talking about the movie, all the acting was good. Um, hmm. I, I just nothing was outstanding, and that, that I think that was my 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 thing. But Finn was fine. I, I didn't find him annoying. I Celeste uh, or Lucky, whatever. I I didn't understand why she was there. I was happy Ernie Hudson has all the all them all his money. Uh, <laughs> I was we it was weird that you know, they have this entire society there um that we never knew about uh, that he had all these engineers doing all these things but he never told anybody else that was a little weird but i guess you know uh, the, the, the the cool thing for me was just you know that ernie was 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 doing his thing that he was this, this yeah. multi-millionaire of all of them. he was the one doing the best because he was the add-on and the add-on became the great one so i thought that was pretty cool um mm-hmm. the whole ghost thing talking to a ghost i just felt like she was being so stupid but you know that's that's gonna be in my bad so i won't 
<laughs> but Paul Rudd is just awesome. Paul Rudd is just awesome. I just I love him in the in these type of movies. So yeah. Um, that's it or anything else? Uh, Any good? Yeah. <laughs> Um, the, the, the popcorn buckets were really great. Popcorn buckets were awesome. <laughs> yeah. Um, but yeah, I, I I gotta agree. Like the nostalgia was was pretty good. You know, I I it didn't. Nostalgia is like a, a very uh like a line that is very like too much, and it kind of makes the the movie feel like like pandering. Not enough. It's like then why are you bothering at all? So I felt like this one, you know, kind of you know rode that line pretty good where it wasn't either or you know i was like oh, okay you know um but you know i thought the graphics looked good i i enjoyed it you know it didn't nothing looked too bad you know graphics wise um i liked all the actors i i liked uh kamel nagiani's kind of uh character so stupid part <laughs> you know I like it, stupid. Yeah, I, I like this character. I wish I wish it would have been handled a little bit better, but you know, I'll get into that. But I, I liked the, the idea of his character and stuff like that. You know, where there's like, like the Ghostbusters aren't the first people to handle ghosts, you know, and stuff mm-hmm. like that. Like there were other things, you know, for hundreds of years, you know, handling it. So it was, that was kind of cool. Um, yeah, yeah. That's about, that's about <laughs> it without without getting too much into what you guys already said because i agree with what you, what you guys said um but all right so we'll get right into the bad stuff Brandman, what did you not like about this movie um the i have to disagree regarding the nostalgia and the callbacks because mm-hmm. it seemed like the movie was almost too reliant on them it, mm-hmm. um at, at times it it felt like the callbacks were just kind of strung together into something, so, something resembling a narrative. Um, it, it was just too reliant on on the callbacks for me. And for a movie called Frozen Empire, there there sure wasn't too much Frozen Empire, or at least <laughs> not as much as the trailer kind of promised. Mm-hmm. Um, it was kind of an interesting concept, and they just didn't do enough with it. The villain was the villain looked cool, but the villain was ultimately forgettable. If we, if we're cool. say what, I don't think the villain looked cool. Yeah, my, if my, my ten year old laughed at it, she was like, "It looks stupid. It's like a thin <laughs> man with horns." Wow. Yeah. yeah, if if we're if we're excluding Ghostbusters uh, twenty sixteen, this is probably the most um, forgettable Ghostbusters villain. I thought. Yeah. Um, the the joke with um with uh Kamel uh, Najiani basically firebending, they ran that into the ground. It started getting annoying for me. The um, what else? Um, yeah, the, I agree. Lucky the uh, or I agree about the character of Lucky Brian. She didn't need to be there. She was just there just for the sake of being there. So Wolf had uh, like a love interest in like for for four minutes. Yeah. Yeah. Um it just um the movie just didn't do as much as it could have. It definitely was watchable, but it just didn't do as much as it could have with with um you know, it it it, it fell flat in that regard. It was it was kind of a misfire on what it could have done. It had some interesting ideas, but but they seemed too scared to to run with them. Mm-hmm. Yeah. That's that's the best way to put it. They were afraid to like really explore any seriousness with certain mm-hmm. things, which kind of sucked. Okay. Anything else? I think that's mostly it on my end. Okay. Why are you, Brian? Yeah, I, I agree with the whole not not exploring the seriousness because like the whole Gary thing, being her science teacher and then you know marrying her mom and being her stepdad, and they never really wanted to talk about it. That was a very serious thing that they kind of could explore that kind of would have helped her mature as a as a character. And they really just, you know, laughed it off so much and then all of a sudden just called dad. Like yeah. I just thought that was just so cringy. And I was like, mm-hmm. why are you doing this? <laughs> uh I said, talked about Lucky, you know, the whole thing. I was like, why are you even here? You just randomly got put in there, like, hey, here you go. That the other person. That we didn't explain mm-hmm. at all. Uh, I, I didn't understand it. I thought the villain was not villainous. That that, that villainous that wasn't that scary. Mm-hmm. I was like, dude, 
We didn't have to do anything. We didn't have to like get all New York to sing at the same time to break through this jello mode. We didn't have to worry about the you know, stay puff marks marshmallow man destroying downtown. We didn't do any of that stuff. It was kind of just I don't know. I I don't, I don't know. I think they we wasted Patton Oswalt. Think that because uh, if you, you probably think about, it, you probably don't realize that he was in the movie that much. <laughs> yeah. It's just um, let's see. The Najiani Nanji, Nanji, um, Nanji was just just so stupid. Great, good concept, mm-hmm. poorly delivered. Just, just it should have been better. Um, the family aspect should have been more. <laughs> the science teacher became a biology teacher for the mom. <laughs> exactly. Oh <laughs> uh, yeah. Like it's just it's it's yeah. like. There were two, as much as I like nostalgia, I think they also knew that the trap was exploding and, and they need to get the ghost out. Yet that's the last thing that they, was on their mind. Like mm-hmm. the problem was never fixed. Like they, you, you, that was so stupid that you could have fixed it. You know, let's start loading 15 at a time so we don't have to worry about this. Mm-hmm. Yet they don't do it. Like they explain the problem and then they never go back to it. Just seemed very stupid. The plot just wasn't strong enough. If that's yeah. what it is, I, I feel like they just didn't do a good job. The plot, and they didn't really give great arcs to the characters. Mm-hmm. Yeah, that's kind of where I leave. Yeah, yeah. I mean, the plot was was like it's kind of boring, and also like it, it bounced around a lot and. And yeah, that was that was an issue. And like I said, like I like the concept of the you know the fire master. I think it was called you mm-hmm. know Kamel Nanjiani's character. I liked it, but I hate that that they made him just like you could have had him not know about the history, but instead you have him not know about the history and be a loser and be like this dude that just is like all about quick money and stuff like that. I was like, like, like you could have had him be like somebody kind of smart. You know, kind of like you know Egon and Vakeman or uh, you know Ray, like oh here's these smart guys, you know, but they're just kind of like kind of broke, you know, when they were in the first one and they became Ghostbusters. You could have had them been like that, like oh yeah, like I you know studied stuff and this and that, but he just didn't know about this history because his, his grandma hit it. I, I feel like you could have done cool things with it, but he said you made it a joke and and then you ran ran into the ground like Brandon said, like a lot, you know. So I was like, cool concept, cool idea. And then you just, just literally just smash it to death. Mm-hmm. Um, you know, some of the characters like like Lucky, it was kind of, ugh. but for me, the stupidest thing was Phoebe. Was was I'm like, come on, like, because the, the, the whole time you're like, stop being stupid, kid, and you're fine. You're a genius. Stop being stupid. You know, and I liked her like uh um her. Like, uh, like not giving a shit, you know, where he's like, oh, you can either behave or go to jail. And it cuts to her being like locked up. I thought that's funny, you know, because she's like a smart ass, you know, that's cool. You know, but then they made her like do stupid shit. The whole ghost thing, you know, I was like, what? So like, you're going to do this thing. You just found out the fucking day before you're like, oh, well, I'm going to suck out my ghost. Like, you have no idea. Like, like you just found out about it. And now, you know, exactly how it works. It was like, what? And uh, yeah. You know, they, they, this whole, the whole thing is like, you're proving everyone why they're saying, stop, stop doing this stuff and stop being mm-hmm. a problem. And then she keeps doing it and keeps being a problem. Mm-hmm. And it's just like, you tried making it like a teenage love story with everything. Like you, you, a lot of tropes that like teenage tropes that just wasn't good, you know, and, and afterlife, it fit her. Everything she did fit her. And this one, it just seemed like they just needed like the smart kid and the badass kid. And they put it in one instead of like having having the brother Trevor do anything. Like all he did was get slimed twice, and then like, mm-hmm. right. and like, like he knew how to hot wire the the car back to life. It was like, what? And then that's, I mean, he didn't do anything, you know. Mm-hmm. So yeah, it was just Phoebe was super annoying for me, man. Like especially towards the end, I'm like, come on, stop being a stupid kid. You know, you're you're a genius. You know, a genius. You know, and yeah, yeah, but. You know, and then the dad, her calling him dad, I, I literally went to my girlfriend, like, oh, that's that's gross. 
Like, <laughs> hey, that's weird. That's weird. Like, bro, it's just cringy. It, like, just, yeah. it, just, it just felt obligatory at that point. Yeah, exactly. And it was like... It wasn't earned at any point in time. Exactly. Like, yeah. Hey, you, he, you set me straight half a time. You're now my dad. Yeah, exactly. Exactly. Yeah, you know, it was, it was, you know, you know. One thing I did forget to, to mention was like Peck when uh, she, uh, uh, when Phoebe called her, called him out about mm-hmm. uh, uh, unleashing, you know, in the first film, in the very yeah. first film. And he's like, he goes, that's slander. I thought that was funny. You know, so <laughs> it was like, the dude has to know, right? Like he, there are ghosts. These things are real. And, he, you know, it still kind of like denies it, I guess. Um, but, yeah, yeah. I mean, there's other some bad things. You know, the bad guy wasn't really scary. I thought he looked okay. He wasn't like villainous, but also that's kind of what Ghostbusters does with their bad guys. Like, mm-hmm. Stay Puffed was was the big bad guy. You know, he Vigo, wasn't scary. <laughs> Vigo was scary, dude. Vigo Vigo was pretty scary. Vigo you know? was pretty scary. Yeah, was, I the whole thing. He was a painting for ninety five percent of the movie. <laughs> you know, mm-hmm. like. And the, the actual minion was this goofy little guy that was funny, you know. So it's like, you, you know, the, well, you the looked the in his eyes. I, I, I was watching. I looked in his eyes. I was like, never again, <laughs> never <laughs> again. They're doing it. You know, so it just, it just, it was, it was okay. You know, he well, he wasn't like scary. He wasn't really that villainous. But I tell Damn. you, my almost ten year old looked at him. She was like, he looks stupid. Yeah, especially with yeah. the horns. She was like, that's just looks like Thin Man. Yeah. yeah. He he did look like a character you'd see on on the real Ghostbusters animated series. Yeah. So it kind of gave me those vibes. And and I think I read an interview where they said they even kind of drew inspiration from the real Ghostbusters, which was one of the reasons I was additionally excited about this movie. Mm-hmm. Um but yeah, they just I, I don't know, it just they they could have done more in, in that room. Yeah. They could have done yeah, more and, in the regards to multiple things. Yeah. And then technically like Gozer was the big bad Gozer. in it. But even Gozer, like 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 she wasn't ever like she never looked scary. You know what I mean? She looked like she came from like an eighties, you know, like metal hair metal band video. You know what I mean? <laughs> yeah. Like she was cool. You know, mm-hmm. I mean State Wolf was cool, you know, but she wasn't like scary, scary, you know. So but I mean that's what cool. Ghostbusters does, right? Mm-hmm. But Vigo, Vigo was probably the scariest. Yeah, uh, easily. Yeah. Fun fact: the Vigo painting was just a just a poster blown up. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> the Stay was the biggest, literally. Um, so you got some grand right. factors. Yeah. Oh man! Did anyone else find those little things annoying? They they had no reason to be in this one. Yeah, I, I thought it. Like I said, just callbacks. Just for the sake yeah. of having callbacks. Yeah. They were cute in the first one, or in the first one, in, in Afterlife. You know, it kind of made sense because all these weird things were happening. But I, I didn't get why. Yeah, they didn't. He, he just said they followed them. And I was like, what? Why? Like, how? Like, I don't know. I don't know. Like, a lot of it was weird. Um, But let's get into our ratings for it uh, right here. Uh, so now, later, never is how we rate things here at Spoiler Kings. Now means go check it out right now. It's worth seeing it, not getting spoiled. Later means you can wait till it's on on, on uh, digital, on Blu-ray, and watch it at home. Never means just completely skip it all together. Uh, Brandman, what you giving it? I'll give it a later. Um, mm-hmm. the the, mo- the movie was okay. It kept me. It it was entertaining enough in certain parts, but. Um, as far as if, if we're looking at, um, like I said, again, if we're excluding Ghostbusters 2016, it's probably my least favorite of them. It just, it was just a misfire in terms of, um, what they could have done with it. And a lot of the jokes fell flat or just kind of, kind of wore thin very fast. Mm. You know, um, you can, you can wait until it's on FX or something. <laughs> Yeah, it's a okay. later. It's it's a solid later for me. Okay, what are you, Brian? Uh, I give it a later. It's a it's a stay at home movie. I don't think it's a, a streaming movie. It's a stay at home movie. Like maybe you you stream it or you buy it, buy the physical media or whatever. It's something you watch in your living room. You know, and it's fine with family. You know, mm-hmm. 
And it's just kind of entertaining that you do where you're talking. You can watch that. And that's just what it was. It wasn't strong enough uh, on plot or acting or any of that stuff. Mm. So, you know, it's just something to, t- to take your mind off of what else is going on. So that's why mm. I'm pretty much at later. Yeah. Yeah. And same for me. It's it's a later. It was fun enough. You know, where, like, like Brian said, you can just throw it on TV and, like, oh, hey, look, there's Vakeman, you know, or, oh, look, there's Dan Aykroyd, you know. But, you know, it, it wasn't boring, you know, but it wasn't, like, edge of the seat, like, thrilling, you know, either that I was kind of hoping for, like, oh, like old school Ghostbusters. But it was it was all right. You know, definitely watch it at home. You know, we rented, buy it, maybe if you want to buy it. But, you know, it's definitely at home. I think you you enjoy it more. Just get up, get something to drink, come back and sit down and, you know, yeah, it was, it was all right. <laughs> not, mm-hmm. not bad. Um, and then with the uh, Ron Tomatoes, let's where it's at real quick. Let me guess. Uh, yes. People are saying that the 65 and the audience is at 75. Okay. Critics 65, wait, wait, people 75. Brand. Any guess? Critics, critics maybe at forty six. Pe- um, people, audience score maybe seventy nine, eighty. Eighty. Okay. Yeah. Um. So we have the critics, two hundred and thirteen critics at a forty three percent. Forty three percent. So it is. It is spoiled, rotten. Um. And the audience though, with five hundred plus, eighty five percent. The audience is that's that's a pretty big difference, but audience is liking it a lot more than than uh, than the critics. So I'm probably more somewhere in the middle. I think maybe like around seventy. Well, maybe that's not the middle middle, but around seventy, I would say. You know, I think on Letterbox I already ranked it. Uh, if you want to follow us on Letterbox, all our links are down below. Um, but I on Letterbox I give it. I think I give it a three out of five. So I haven't wrote anything for it yet, but. Yeah, yeah, because I'm like, if Afterlife gets like a three and a half, maybe a four, uh, with Afterlife, Frozen Empire is a, like a solid three. Like, mm-hmm. yeah, yeah, I can't give it any more than that for sure. But, um, um and it sounds, yeah, I think on Letterboxd, it has its average right now between everybody is like 2.9. Mm-hmm. So, yeah, but cool. Um, so we'll see how it does in the box office right now. You know, it's only Saturday night, so we don't have the full weekend numbers, um, at least as a recording this video. Um, so we'll keep an eye on that and see where it, where it ends up and how well it does, because uh, that is going to be the ultimate des- deciding factor if they make another one or not. You know, so. Um, but yeah, appreciate everyone coming in, checking us out on the replay. Leave your comment down below. Leave your rating for this movie down below. Let us know what you thought about it. Uh, hit that like button. It helps us out so much on YouTube. Hit that subscribe button if you want to come and check us out live every Monday and Thursday. We appreciate all you guys in that replay gang. And if you're watching live, stick around because we're going to move on to our next topic. Oh, uh, froze on me. Uh, Let's see. Let me get to some of these uh, comments real quick. Uh, Let's see. Mama Bear said, uh, I think they missed the opportunity to explore the fireball turn starbucks becoming the fire hall again he goes uh could have called it ghostbusters fire latte (laughs) (laughs) after latte (laughs) yeah or after latte i was like fire yeah after latte uh kenny said i like that winston got a significant upgrade in importance in the story and i find that funny it's like everyone was was working at a university so there i think they were all like i think spangler was a doctor vakeman was a doctor Mm -hmm. i think ray was also a doctor yeah all three of them were all three yeah. of them were right. Yeah, you know, and then, Winston, then Winston he, was a, they had a uh, help one ad, and that's how he came. Yeah, but now he's he's the most successful out of all of them. <laughs> you know, yeah. Which was good. It was satisfying because there were yeah. times where they kind of treated him like he was chopped liver, basically. In, yeah. In the in the first two movies. Yeah. The one thing I did forget to mention is when Vakeman comes back and they put the stupid, uh, you know, strainer thing on on Kamel Najiani's uh on his head. Mm-hmm. Yeah. That was kind of funny. That was kind of funny. It wasn't like like, you know, you know, 
laughing out loud funny, but I did have a good chuckle at it because it because it, it reminded me of the first one where all he does is try to agitate you and get you aggravated and mess with you. So, mm-hmm. <laughs> you know, so I, I did find that kind of like, like funny. So that, that was a good one. Um, Ernie has aged a whole 10 minutes from the second movie. Pretty much. You know what we say? Yeah. What yeah. do we say? Brand, brand man? Brand man. Black don't crack. <laughs> uh yeah. Uh King said the whole Patton Oswalt uh scene could have been cut out. Yep. It really could have. Yep. <laughs> so, I think that's true for any movie, Kenny. <laughs> yeah. I'm not the biggest Patton Oswalt fan. His voice is kind of grainy. I'm I'm like I don't mind him. But he is a super nerd. I'll give him that. Yeah. And he gave us that's the, the intro to uh say. Book of Boba Fett. <laughs> I mean, Book of Boba Fett literally stole what he said on Community. And they're like, we're just going to say what we're just going to do on screen what he said in the show. It was so stupid. I mean, it's almost like almost beat for beat exactly what he says. I hate that. I hate it so much that Star Wars did that. Uh, you guys think they get Star- Ghostbusters 5? No. I think it ends here. Yeah, I I think so too, but it it really depends on the money. Yeah, I I almost kind of feel like Afterlife was supposed to be a one off, um, but yeah. it made a lot of money, um, especially during a critical time during the pandemic. So the studio was like, make a sequel. Yeah, yeah. So Afterlife budget was seventy five mil. This budget is a hundred mil. Because they say we'll give you twenty five million more. But just figure out a comp, uh, uh, some way to a storyline. They're like, I uh, guess we'll try something. Where is it at? As of right now, box office wise, it's at sixty mil. Sixty. Sixteen one one six. Oh. Yeah, <laughs> sixteen. So Which what? is that's pretty much just the opening day. You know what I mean? Because I don't think yeah we don't have today's numbers. So just from yesterday. Domestic, domestic, um, sixteen mil. I'm gonna guess that it makes forty two mil this weekend. Not too bad. Forty two mil. Which means That's worldwide, we're talking about sixty five. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, deadline says anywhere between forty two to forty four. That's what that's projected. So it's probably going to win the weekend, but I don't know what it's going to do after next week because next week, you know, you have the the monsters coming in. They're gonna, oh, yeah. they are gonna, they're gonna run over Ghostbusters. So we'll see. Um, that film you're counting like that, <laughs> that then this technically is five. No, this is not five. That the 2016 one don't count. <laughs> Yeah. Which one was sixteen? What were you talking about? Exactly. Yeah, it's a remake. It's it's not it's not canon in 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 this world. Yeah. Uh, where we at? Where we at? Stay Puff was the bigger, yeah, biggest baddie. Uh, oh, Brandon, Brandon said, "Goes it terrified me as a child." Did it really? I don't think terrified me. I mean, if you don't, if you don't like dogs. Or crazy women. I mean, when I saw this, I was like, the first time I saw. Well, it came out when I was born, mm-hmm. so by the time I actually saw it was right when the second one came out, and I was like pretty big into it. I think I was the same. Um, I think the, the thing that really got me into Ghostbusters was the animated series and Ghostbusters Two. That was I saw Ghostbusters Two before I did the first one. Me too. I saw Ghostbusters 2 before I saw the first one. I think so, too. Yeah. And then uh, Bobby yeah. Brown. And Bobby Brown. Bobby Brown. Yeah. Uh, yeah. That's a movie that it stayed puffed. <laughs> too much going on. I like that. Mm-hmm. <laughs> it did. It did have a lot. Yeah. Mom very sad. I wanted to pet Zool. <laughs> But even that whole thing I thought was funny because you had uh, Rick Moranis running around, "Eh, are you the key master or the gatekeeper, whatever the hell. I thought that was hilarious. That was so stupid. That was hilarious, yeah. You know, but I'm like, but that's what a Ghostbuster does. It's like the bad guys are 
are world ending kind of bad guys, but mm. they have like these goofy gimmicks in them, you know, or like, you know, keep it from being like, scary, really. Yeah, yeah, you know, which kind of works in its benefit because it, it's it's not really a scary movie; it's more of a comedy, you know. Mm-hmm. So that's how I always looked at. It. I never looked at it as like it's like a sci fi comedy. Yeah, oh, I saw. Yeah, especially sh- with sh- a little. Comedy. But yeah. a little suspenseful area, like it's very small suspenseful points. Yeah, mm-hmm. yeah, yeah. Well, um, that was one other thing. I was I was holding on for hope to get Rick Moranis somewhere in this one. Oh no, he, he a little bit, man. He's he done. A little bit. But I mean, he retired. He stopped doing acting for his kids. Yeah, this kid's gotta be grown by now, man. Like, you don't need to look after him anymore. Like, you could have done like a two minute cameo, like, like for the fans, you know. That, it would have been nice. I get it though. If he's done, he's done, and he says he he's does done, anything. But... It's gonna be a honey. I struck the kids or something like that related. Yeah, but that would be have to be a whole movie. Well, if they ever reboot it, oh, he just have to be in. It. He doesn't have to be the main character, but he could be in it. The grandfather. Yeah, that'd be interesting. I wouldn't, man. Don't be surprised if you see that in the next five years. They were gonna re. They were gonna do like a reboot of um of Honey I Shrunk the Kids at one point with like Josh Gad playing the scientist character. And they pulled the plug on it. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, certain things you just shouldn't touch. They always yeah. do. Uh, and we got Jason. What's up, Jason? Jason. Hey, Spoiler Kings. Uh, the three goats are here. How's it going? Uh, how's it going, guys? Tonight. I uh, just came back from the movie theater from watching Immaculate, mm-hmm. which I need to see that because I've been hearing good things about that. I heard surprisingly good things. things. Yeah. 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 Uh, let, let's know how how'd you like it. But he said, I just watched the trailer for Alien Romulus. Uh, gonna put my uh, reaction in. F- but uh, what did you guys think about it? Oh, yeah. Um, yeah, we did. We, um, I, I liked it. Um, yeah. Kind of gave me vibes going back to the first Alien movie. Like it's gonna be yeah. like a suspense horror movie. Yeah, I might, I might actually, I forgot about that. I might release that tomorrow. That's probably come out tomorrow. That's a good idea. We'll, we'll do some thumbnails and get it out. Yeah, yeah. But yeah, we like this. It looks old school, fun, eerie. Fun. That was supposed to have been Eddie Murphy's first role, right? Yeah, yeah. It was. I don't know. Yeah. His first, was he his first role? I, I don't think it was his... at first, right? Yeah, yeah. At, at first, first yeah. yeah. He turned it down for. Beverly Hills Cop. I I'm pretty sure it was Beverly Hills Cop. Yeah, uh, and that's a, a smart move. Yeah. Yeah. Smart, smart move, Bob. Going over yeah. that, <laughs> and, and it, it worked out for Ernie Hudson because he wasn't as big. It gave it gave him a jump, a good jumping off spot. Eddie Murphy was already big, you know, so he deserves to be in a movie where he is the lead. So it, yeah, you know, it worked out. I think all, all around for everybody. So. Ernie Hudson is I've seen him like at least four times at C2E2. Mm-hmm. You know, he's he's signing autographs right in front of the 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 car. Which is cool. Yeah. Yeah. I got something to sign this year. Hope he's, <laughs> if, he, if he's there, yeah. Uh the story on how the first was made was awesome. Yeah. Yeah. Cause Goop. um originally the premise was like gonna be like scientists who were traveling through time and space to fight ghosts at one point um john belushi was going to play one of the yeah. characters um yeah there was there's a lot of interesting stuff to find the first movie yeah yeah it was all harold ramus is uh um what's this what was the thing he started um national lampoon yeah <laughs> it was <laughs> i think it was before he created it but it was all the same, all the same characters. You know, he always had like the same people he always worked with. Mm-hmm. So, um, Slimer, based off Goop. I don't know. He's funny though. Slimer's awesome. Mm-hmm. Big goopy monster. Uh, Film in a city versus a small town. Uh, yeah, we'll up the budget. I'm sure. Plus, actors raises from sequels. Yeah, yeah. Going to middle of nowhere, Oklahoma to you know New York City. New York, New York, yeah. NYC. Yeah. yeah, that'll do it. Uh, they're playing sequel. That's why Winston bought the fire hall at the end of the afterlife. Yeah. Yeah. And you keep saying fire hall. It was like, I think we call it uh, the firehouse in the mm-hmm. States. 
And I was like, Firehouse. Yeah, like the 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 shooting yeah. title for the movie was Ghostbusters Firehouse. Oh, was it? Mm-hmm. Yeah. Yeah. And, and and it makes sense too, where he was even saying, like, oh, I had to buy it because this is like ground zero now. You know, mm-hmm. so like as a as a former Ghostbuster, he felt like obligated to to make sure at least that part stayed. I'm just focused safe. on the fact that he could buy it. That's <laughs> awesome. Yeah. You know, so uh I always thought Gozer looked like Lisa Bon name Momoa. Um I was very surprised to see her played by Olivia Wilde in Afterlife. Not that I am complaining at all. It, yeah, they did a good job at recreating that. If, if they, if, yeah, if they needed to get a new person, like just from a physical standpoint in terms of like facial features, she was a she was a good person. Yeah, yeah. Honestly, the li- librarian goes terrifying me. Still can't watch that scene. That that was awesome. <laughs> that whole yeah, scene that was, was great. awesome. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Funny how I shrunk the grandkids. <laughs> That'd be funny. Uh, here we go. A uh, question from Kenny. He said, uh, what sequels have you seen before the original? For me, Terminator 2, Bill, T- Bill and Ted, Bugs Avenger, Beverly Hills Cop 2, Species 2, Gremlins 2, Die Hard Avengers, Leprechaun in the, Leprechaun in the Hood. <laughs> uh, um, yeah, I, saw I saw all those. No, I saw the original Gremlins. I saw the original Gremlins. Yeah, I saw Terminator 2 first. Um, I saw Bill and Ted's Excellent Adventure first before Bill and Ted's bonus, Bogus Journey. Um, Beverly Hills. I saw the Beverly Hills Cop movies in order. Species 1 I did see before 2. Gremlins 2 I did see before 1. Um, and the um, I actually saw Die Hard 2 first before I saw the original Die Hard. Yeah. And, yeah. and, and, I, and I did see all the Leprechaun movies in order. Yeah. Um... I'm trying to think of anything that's on on this list. I want to say Terminator Two. Mm-hmm. I saw first before Terminator. Yeah, 1. remember watching Villain's Terminator. Ed, yeah, yeah right. I remember watching Terminator Two first, and then being really confused as to why uh, <laughs> he was a bad guy in the first one. Was, yeah, he's oh my god, same. I was like, that was why, exactly why that would too. Yeah, he's the good guy. It's Arnold. Yeah, Bill and Ted though. I love. Him. I don't understand. Yeah, I watched I watched Bill and Ted one a bazillion times. Same. And then number two. But I've seen know, the rest both of them a bazillion them. times. Yeah. Uh, then Ghostbusters. I saw Ghostbusters. I'm pretty sure I saw Ghostbusters two before I saw one. Yeah, I, I remember seeing that a lot. I, I didn't know any other stuff before. until uh, I was maybe like eight, probably. Mm-hmm. Yeah, I would have to think. I have to go through. I don't know if there's any sequels that I remember watching before the first. Maybe Godfather Two. I saw before Godfather One. Not my, not my choice. <laughs> was, uh, Star Wars. I, I, I watched uh, Empire Strikes Back first. That's how it was first introduced to Star Wars, and then I watched A New Hope, and then, and then. Uh, and, um, aliens. Return. I saw aliens. aliens. I saw alien. Yeah, yeah. I think same. I think yeah. I think same. Yeah. 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 I'm trying to think of what else. But yeah, everything else. I I, I now if I'm as I'm older, like I try to watch the first one before I watch the second one, unless I just heard like like for example, Halo the series. I would skip season one altogether. You don't even just throw it in trash. You don't need it. You know, and just watch season two. <laughs> you know, and that's a whole season. You know, so you're talking about hours of stuff. So, yeah. But, yeah. Uh, for me, Jedi and Aliens from Brandon said. Yeah. Well, uh, movies wouldn't work as a remake. Nah. Yeah, some don't. Uh, he said, uh, saw Jason X before I saw any other Jason. Really, I would say huh. Nightmare on Elm Street. I think I saw the second one and the third one before I saw the first one. The very like, first, almost. yeah, the very first Nightmare on Elm Street I, movie I had watched all the way through was um, was Wes Craven's um, new. No, no, I'm yeah. sorry. Um, no, no, no. Um, Freddy's Dead. The the final Nightmare. Freddy's was the first Dead. One I, oh, that was the first one I watched all the way through. 
Really? Uh, wow. Mm-hmm. And then New Nightmare, and then Freddy versus Jason, and then I went back and rewatched them from the beginning. Yeah. Oh, this is going to surprise you guys. Good. I actually saw um, the second Indiana Jones before I saw the first one. Mm-hmm. Mm, yeah, that makes sense. I think I might have been the same. Yeah. Yeah. Because you got to figure, like, for us, you know, we're all born around the same year. So, like, a lot of the, the original movies, you know, thing like Ghostbusters 1 was made 84, I think, right? Before we were born, yeah. So, yeah. You know, yeah. So, you know, by the time we're old enough to actually start watching movies, number two's out. You know, and number two was, was number two more kid-friendly? Indiana Jones? Uh, Ghostbusters. Or Ghostbusters, I'm sorry. I, I, I don't think oh. it was more kid, kid-friendly, but it was more entertaining. And singing and walking Statue of Liberty and yeah, yeah. Slime. slime. Oh, they did the slime in the in this one. Did you guys see it in the background? Yeah. 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 That was a nice little shout out to that. But yeah. So you know Temple of Doom. <laughs> Scared the jinkies out of me. <laughs> the guy getting the heart is yeah, the guy the guy getting his heart ripped out like made me really squeamish. <laughs> yeah, I can see that. Or the guy's face melting in uh well that was uh Raiders, right? That, that was Raiders. Yeah. yeah. And we're watching that like <laughs> Brandon David said, speak for yourself. I was alive when Ghostbusters came out. You were like three. Yeah, I was gonna say you can't be that <laughs> old, man. You can't be that old. to actually enjoy it, like yeah, like yeah. <laughs> We said, uh, Jason Samuel, that's wild. Yeah, man. Uh, we were bored. Oh, you said. Uh, watching my movies, uh, I was going candy same. I saw X, Jason X before the others. Wow. Yeah, okay. it, all, it all depends on what, what year you're born. And and also when you're introduced to things, too, I, I feel like. Yeah. Mm-hmm. I think I saw Jason's, uh, Freddy vs. Jason before I saw a lot of the other stuff. Yeah. Because um, even the even the Friday the Thirteenth movies, I yeah, I think the first Friday the Thirteenth movie that I watched all the way through was probably Jason Takes Manhattan. That was the first one I watched all the way through, and then <laughs> I um, yeah, I I um, I I don't think I watched another one until Jason X, and then it was Freddy versus Jason. And then, for whatever reason, after Freddy vs. Jason, I went back and watched um, Friday the 13th and Nightmare on Elm Street from the very, very beginning. You should look at some trailers. Yeah, I was, was going to. Yeah. That's all right. I yeah, I'm, good. Time. I'm good with that. I think I saw a Mad Max Road Warrior before I saw the first Mad Max. I saw Beyond Thunderdome first. Because my aunt and uncle really liked that movie. It was the very first one I saw. That makes All sense, right. though. Uh, I think that might have be been for me, too. Mm-hmm. See, we'll watch. I mean, all these fucking trailers are Warner Brothers, Warner Brothers, Warner Brothers. So we're getting cop- copyright claimed on all of them anyway. So I was like, yeah, Warner's Brother Day, just copyright claim day. Let's go. Yeah. Same thing with our Beetle Juice. Our Beetle Juice trailer is doing really good. Can't make a dime off of it. Super annoying for a fucking one minute clip. Like, nope. Sons of bitches. Um, all right, let me get this ready. But I figure we'll watch the House of Dragon because there's official black trailer and official green trailer. So we can watch those back to back and then uh, and then talk about it. Mm-hmm. I'm black. <laughs> you me brandy crack up. Uh all right. It's here it alright. Yep. Please. Uh, they say he's born right, in 79, you- sir. Okay, five. <laughs> Not three, but five. 
I feel like five is when you can like like four and five is when you can like start going to the theaters as a kid and and mm-hmm. start doing it. So yeah, okay. I don't think you remember you them, you. Yeah, <laughs> I think I think at that age you might have liked something, and then, oh, and then your parents are like drive in. Yeah. That makes sense now. B, that makes sense. Okay, drive in. When they was a drive in, then by by. Uh, a tank's house. I used to go over there too. Take my kids to the oh, drive in. Yeah, I'm. I'm so sad that they got they went away. Mm-hmm. It was like one of the only drive-ins in America that wasn't considered a historical site. Like every other one in America, like all got that like like that security of historical site and and stuff like that. So except for this mm-hmm. one, you know, and it was always an issue of the owners versus the 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 people who ran who ran the the driving so and the silver speakers that hung from the <laughs> yeah mm-hmm. had those too all right let's watch these trailers we'll do the uh, the targaryen and then we'll do the high tower one oh high tower yeah i hope they all die they can't exactly. do but yeah so <laughs> My bad. Wrong button. Pretty sure that's the wrong <laughs> Yep. All right, let's do it. Crazy. All right, what is up? Welcome to the Spoiler Kings. My name is Tink Kramer, a brand man, Brandon, Brian the Grizzly, and we're going to check out two. We have two trailers for the House of Dragon. We have the official black trailer and the official green trailer, the Targaryen versus Hightower. Um, so we're going to watch them back to back, and then we'll we'll discuss them and see what it is. I haven't seen either of these, so I'm kind of curious. Yeah. Me either. I wanted to watch it earlier. I was like, no, I'll wait. Hey, wait. Cool. All right. So let's check out this Targaryen one first. Let's go. I was jumping right into the other one, and then we'll talk about both of them. Both. Uh, okay. <laughs> mm-hmm. uh, first, I like the strategy of, of showing um, two separate t- trailers uh, from the POV of two different houses. So mm-hmm. I thought that was I thought that was a uh, that that was that was pretty cool. But you know I liked season one. This seems to obviously um, be picking up where that left off. Tie those loose ends, which I'm really interested in seeing. Um, it just um, I like the vibe of both trailers overall. I, I don't. That's that's really all I have to say about it. That's you know those tri- they did their job. They got me interested. So. I think that's really all I can say. <laughs> I yeah. know that's super simplistic, but yeah. Right, what about you, Brian? I want all high towers to burn. <laughs> I don't care what they are. I don't care if it's Steve High Tower. I don't care if it's <laughs> Rainus. I don't really care who it is. All high towers just need to go on. Let's, let's circle them all up. Let's get them. Let's take all the dragons. Let's go. So mm. that's that's what I think. Mm. Let's go black. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Um I I mean they were good trailers. They didn't give me more hype than I already am though. You know exactly. I mean? That's what I'm getting at. Yeah. yeah. I was just like, okay, yeah, cool. You gave me a, a day of June sixth, like sixteenth, whatever it was. Yep. You know, Two days but, into my birthday. Yeah. Nice. There you go. <laughs> um, but yeah, I mean they were fine trailers. They weren't like hype trailers, I feel like, you know, like trailers that were like like oh my god I can't like a perfect example, um and it was vampire that was a hype trailer holy crap like right. I I'm still like hyped about it you know this was just a trailer that hey, like, remember okay, we're gonna cool. be out we're coming back that's yeah. that's all it was yeah 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 don't forget you know we got this is what's going on it's more of like a reminder trailer than it is a hype trailer like oh here's what's going on like I feel like you can watch this and at least understand what's going on in season two if you miss mm-hmm. season one um but obviously there's awesome details that in season one that you gotta watch um but for the most part you know it did its job of reminding you what's going on and it's coming back but yeah yeah and i i, I hate the high tower i forgot what what her name is uh uh olivia cook's characters um the high tower queen whatever her name is oh she's such an asshole i hate her so i hate, I hate her i hate her so much <laughs> oh man but june, uh, june 16th 
we we checking it out for sure. <laughs> Brandon goes, was that Helen Mirian? Yes, it was. Yeah, yeah. she's uh. Is it that, no, it's not Helen Mirian. Is it? No, that, I don't think that was Helen Mirian. That's not Helen. Another Mary. old uh, old British chick. Yeah, she's not. She's not married to. Well, let's call it. No, that's not. Nah, uh, Oh yeah, that's not her. What the hell? Her, what was her name? I forgot what her name is. But she was in. Uh, she was the brother. She has an interesting story. She's the original female that was named Queen. Supposed to be Queen. Yep. Allison. Over. Yeah. Hightower. Allison Hightower. Yeah. So not Hel- not Helen Marin, but another old British lady <laughs> with white hair. <laughs> they all got white hair. So yeah. Never mind. Um, you know what they say about black? <laughs> Don't crack. Tell you that much. Let's go. I go back. <laughs> I guess right. Uh, the, nah, I'm okay on this one. <laughs> Not my bag. I don't care how good the show is. To quote Julius Winfield, "Tour, uh, tour Ray may taste like pumpkin pie, but I'll never know because I'm not gonna eat it. <laughs> so I'm good on that." Yeah. Yes, I also won't eat pumpkin pie. So I like that's where I draw a line. <laughs> that pumpkin pie. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. So I mean like I I know like you guys really enjoyed the season one. I, I enjoyed it too. I just it's more of the same Game of Thrones shit. You know, I was expecting more magic, more something else. You know. I mean I'm still gonna watch it. Still it was a cool show, but it's gonna be Not, politics and it's gonna be war. Man, I, I'm I'm interested in seeing war. War with dragons, war with dragons. So uh, I'm okay with that. They have more mm-hmm. with dragons than a lot a lot of things that we saw with Game of Thrones. So yeah, yeah. So, but yeah, cool. Yeah, a couple of trailers. I was expecting more from the trailers. I just felt kind of underwhelmed. Underwhelmed. Yeah, and not really disappointed. Underwhelmed is a good a good word. Um, but yeah, unless you guys got anything else. Now nah, well, let's go next thing. Yep. Cool. Um. So yeah, leave a comment down below. Let us know what you guys think about uh, Game of Thrones: The House of Dragon season two. Um. Who are you rooting for? Are you going Targaryen? Are you going Hightower? Um. Let us know down in the comments. Let us know who whose side you're on. Um. But hit that like button. Hit that subscribe button. And come and join us every Monday and Wednesday, Wednesday, Monday and Thursday. Um. Live and you could be part of the show like everyone else in these comments was. So appreciate you guys, but if you're watching live, stick around because we are gonna move on to our next topic. Yeah. Monday and Wednesday. Used to be. Yeah, be. calendar still says it. <laughs> That's it. <laughs> oh man, I, I I gotta change a bunch of the there's so the, much to do. Um, all right. You guys want to do Penguin or Furiosa? Ooh, I almost want to say Penguin. Sorry on the screen. I want right, to say yeah. Furiosa. But, uh, okay. Yeah. Oh, I was like, I, I kind of want sure one. Um, you want to do Penguin if we have enough time? We we'll do Furiosa. Yeah, that's fine. Okay. And also, I uh, this Penguin's newer too. Seven on tr- seven. Came out. Oh, came out yesterday. Yep. And short. All right, let's watch this paint real quick. All right. All right, let's go. All right, what is up? Welcome to the Spoiler Kings. My name is Tink Kramer, and with Brandman Brandon, Brian the Grizzly, and we're going to check out the brand new spin off trailer of The Batman, and this one is called the penguin so just came out yesterday are you number seven on youtube trending on youtube so uh let's check it out and then uh we'll talk that's still crazy that's colin farrell my like, my brain is still trying to process that <laughs> yeah like that that's crazy that, that I mean, it doesn't even that, look anything like him that's amazing no nah. Doesn't sound like him. Doesn't look like him. Like, 
Yeah. Yeah. Damn. That's insane. Um, what would you guys think? The teaser trailer. Oh, I loved it. Um, like I've said in the past, the Batman is probably my favorite live action Batman movie. And I'm loving the concept of more world building in, in, in the, the Reeves verse or the else worlds for first or whatever you want to call it. And I think that, um, that, uh, Colin Farrell's penguin is a good place to start. Um, especially since he only had like 10 minutes of screen time in the Batman, but he just made every second of it count. Yeah. I thought he was great in the role. Um, so I'm looking forward to basically seeing, you know, Oswald Cobblepot's rise to power and just more, more world building, um, you know, in the, in this specific version of Gotham. Um, I love the look of it. I love the, how the trailer with his narration and him talking about this other like mobster before him and how he wants to be remembered like him. That, that was kind of like a good framing, um, um, for the trailer. So definitely got me excited um can't wait yeah awesome trailer yeah what are you brian it was cool <laughs> yeah. not huge you know the batman fan i thought it was good i thought this looks fine and dark and probably in- interesting to watch and i wasn't excited before i'm not too excited afterwards it's just okay can't believe it's Colin Farrell. That's yeah. what I'm stuck at. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Yeah, I don't know. I, I, I thought it was good. It looks it looks like it's gonna be really, really violent, man. Like yeah. holy shit. <laughs> like it's gonna be a really violent one. Um, I don't know, like a, a mob movie, like a good mob movie that's based in the Batman kind of universe mm-hmm. seems interesting, you know, especially with the penguin at the helm of it. Um interested you know and i i like the ba- the the batman I w- it wasn't a masterpiece like some people are claiming it was i'm sorry mm-hmm. you know but it was a good i enjoyed it but uh kind of curious to see how this goes you know you know not a big colin farrell fan either like you know mama bear said in the comments but i i don't i don't see him you know like i don't see Colin Farrell there you know but mm-hmm. i'm gonna check it out you know i can't deny he's a good actor you know mm-hmm. but Definitely gonna check it out. See, probably gonna be pretty good. Yeah, yeah I think he's. I think he's a really good actor, especially in recent years. Because I remember, like, when he first showed up on the scene, he was like in everything for that yeah. like several year period, and then um, he started getting a lot more selective about his roles. I, I think. I think he's a good actor. Um, like I said, I really like him in this role. I was kind of curious. Well, I was very curious when, when he got cast to see kind of like what angle he's going to work. I like the whole kind of like Italian tough guy mobster, uh, uh, kind of, uh, angle he's working. It, 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 it fits in this, un- it's, it's appropriate for this, um, for, for this universe. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Um, yeah. Yeah. But yeah, I mean, you can still have your Danny DeVito penguin. And I feel like you can have this and both of them, you know, work and make sense. Mm-hmm. Yeah. yeah. So, uh, and then a few other comments, real quick. Uh, Brand Davis said, "I'm not, I'm not with this Batman world. It's like they're trying to double down on Mr. Nolan. You know, maybe I need to go back and rewatch it, but I do not like Pattinson at all. Man, <laughs> all caps. Mm-hmm. Do not like him. Yeah, I don't think they're trying to double down on Nolan. I think Nolan's was." You know, they were kind of like they they were Batman movies, but very like ground, very grounded. Like you kind of make it kind of feasible in real life, and it did have that Nolan, um, very much a Nolan flair to it. I like I like kind of like the more stylized element of this. I like that it's more kind of like detective noir based, which is a mm-hmm. big thing that I like about Bat- Batman comics and graphic novels. So the fact that they really um, that they really leaned into that really made me especially fond of this movie of of um, of the Batman. Yeah, yeah. They say I'm gonna watch it. Yes. <laughs> so, yeah. I mean, it all depends on what kind of Batman you like. You know, you like old brooding, you know, beat 'em up Batman. You like det- detective Batman. You like old school noir Batman. Like, there's a bunch of different kinds of 
Batman, <laughs> you know, and Batman yeah. kind of stories. So, you know, you know, if if the Nolan thing didn't work for you, this could work. You know, you still have your, you know, old school, like, you know, um, uh, who was that? Uh, ben Affleck kind of, mm-hmm. you know, big brooding kind of guy. So, mm-hmm. but, um, but cool. Because oh, I'll say this, uh, this Batman world does remind me of playing the games. See that a little bit. Especially with the world, you know, everything's very obviously dark and and gloomy and rainy all the time. Yeah, like Gotham looked like a place that you don't want to go. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> um, like ever, which makes sense. After, yeah, after Batman Begins, like the the um the Nolan movies, it you know I was at, at times I was like, oh, this place doesn't look so bad, <laughs> but um, but and we live but there. I lo- yeah, <laughs> that's why. <laughs> look, hey, look, that's my house. Yeah, like, oh, look, it's Lower Wacker. I've been there a bunch of times. <laughs> yeah, but yeah, I loved how just like grim and dreary, and like a lot of stuff. Most of the stuff took place at night. Um, in the Batman, and you know, it just looked like a place that you don't want to go. Like, I, <laughs> I'd be uncomfortable walking through the city at just about any time during the day. Yeah, not just the nighttime. Yeah. So I thought that was yeah. cool. Finish off with this one. Mama Bear says, uh, I'm still stuck on Riddler looking like Pickle Rick. <laughs> Never thought about that. Uh, I, I got to go back and look and double check because it is funny just because it's all green, you know, but I, I don't remember if this Riddler, Paul Dano, Riddler looked like Pickle Rick or not. But uh, now I just can't picture it. It's like Pickle Rick was a big question mark on his chest. <laughs> but, um, but cool. Yeah, that's our thoughts on the Penguin, the teaser trailer. We'll probably get a few more trailers before this comes out in uh, later this year. Um, but leave a comment down below. Let us know what you guys think about the Penguin. Um, do you like it? Do you hate it? How do you feel about it? How do you feel about this being a spinoff from the movie? Um, but leave a comment. Let us know. Make sure you guys hit that like button. It helps us out a lot on YouTube. Hit that. Sus- oh, excuse me. Hit that. Sorry. <laughs> hit that subscribe button um, so you can come and join us live every Monday and Thursday. Uh, we appreciate everyone on the replay checking us out. Uh, and if you're live, stick around because we're going to move on to our next topic. What up, Zach? What's, What's going on, Zach? Not uh, Zach attacks. What's up, my peeps? Yeah, in there. I did like uh, their take on Riddler. I did too. I did too. Yeah. Mm-hmm. yeah. yeah. Uh, everyone, everyone give him some love. My favorite Riddler was in was in Gotham. Oh, the show. I didn't watch the show. Yeah, I never I started finished when it. I gave up on it. It's just mm-hmm. wasn't my my I wasn't feeling it. And I heard it was good. People loved it. Mm-hmm. Um, do you want to do Fear Yosa or you guys want to save it for Monday? We can save it to Monday. Okay. Yeah, kind of late. I was I was gonna be like, oh, but I think we have enough time. But yeah, we could we could I gotta make I gotta wake up in the morning. Yeah, I'm gonna do the same thing. Yeah. <laughs> Um. Yeah. Cool. Yeah, we'll do that. So on Monday we're gonna be uh talking. We'll do a, a review for Roadhouse real quick. Um, I haven't. Both of you guys seen it already, right? Yep. Okay. Damn. So, um, just waiting on me. So we'll do that, and then obviously we'll we'll get uh um Anzo and and, and try a few other people, and we'll talk about the uh um Halo season two. Great show. Freaking great show. So that's gonna be a, that's gonna be a good fun one. Um. And then we'll see. We'll watch a few trailers and see how the night goes on Monday. I like that there was no physical confrontation between the two. Mm-hmm. Yeah, which makes sense. I mean, the Riddler's not a fighter. Yeah. Yeah. He's the yeah. mental superior. Yeah. They watch Roadhouse. I'm surprised Brandon Davis didn't watch Roadhouse because you were you were hyped on that movie. Like I'm, I'm like because it came out like what Wednesday or something Thursday. Wednesday. Thursday. I was. Yeah. Uh, I was with my wife, and we were just watching it. It was like, man, this is good. Doing yeah. a good job. I was surprised. Okay. Yeah. I, I liked it. Yeah. Yeah. I've been hearing pretty good things about it. So, yeah, same sex as I need to, or Ken, or Kenny said I need to watch the workouts. Jake, Jake, Jake and Hall in that movie was like frigging like crazy shredded. That's like, yeah, he new, was. New, I was like, new, come on. Wow. That's like, <laughs> New fitness walls for me, dude. <laughs> Jake Gyllenhaal, damn. Yeah, like holy crap. 
made you want to go to the gym immediately. Mm-hmm. Start training MMA. Yeah. Um. Yeah. So yeah. Also. Yeah. He was six six. So when you're six six, you can't focus. Yeah. You know? Like for me, when I'm six six, I can't. I can't watch anything bright. You know, like mm-hmm. I can't leave my dark room. Basically, I'm so, sick. sick. Yeah. I, I act like a baby and ask my wife to like, please just take care of me. Oh, man, she's like, I'm the no. complete opposite. I'm like, don't talk to me, don't bother me. Yeah, you can come in and peek and make sure I'm still breathing if you want, but don't don't touch me, don't wake me up. Like, <laughs> don't let in light. <laughs> like, leave me the f alone. Like, I do not want to be bothered when I'm sick. Sick, I oh. don't. I'm I'm about to usually, but I'm sick. I'm like, oh, please take care of me. <laughs> Where's my homemade soup? Don't you love oh, no. me? <laughs> She's like, I hate you so much. I hate you. <laughs> See, and I'm like, like when Erica checks on me when I'm sick like that, she'll come and like you know make sure I'm okay. Like, oh, how you doing? I'm like, let me alone. I was like, <laughs> and I, I feel bad because I'm like, talking to me. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. When I'm sick, it was just like all I do is like I'll stay in my dark room, go to the washroom, take a hot shower, and go back in my dark room. <laughs> like, I mean, I'm usually, I'm usually the same. Yeah, you yeah. put a hood on, and every time you walk out, go. Pretty much. Well, then when when I get out of the shower, because I take like a boiling hot shower, so it's like steamy. So I'm like, open the door. Usually the fire alarm goes off because <laughs> all the steam from the shower. Oh man. So, but cool, man. Yeah, well, but I'm glad you're feeling better, though, Brandon. Yeah. Yeah, yeah glad you're feeling better and coming back. Um, Mama said that's why he wasn't teasing me for flirting with the cutie. <laughs> yeah, he wasn't here. He wasn't here. <laughs> uh, I had American Dad on season two until <laughs> just listened to that in the background. Yeah, nice. Yeah, because I wasn't even nice. drinking. Yeah, that was sick. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Yep. Yeah, I can't have anything on the TV either. Really? Usually, I put a. Not yeah, when I'm when I'm sick, yeah, I'm pitch black, man. I will put the TV on. I will put the TV on. Yeah. Yeah. I think that's how my mom started figuring out when I was faking it. Mm -hmm. (laughs) It's like, oh, you're playing video games, watching TV. Like you're not sick. I can play video games and watch TV. um, Makes me feel better. Yeah. Now now, nowadays, because I'm an adult and I live alone. (laughs) Yeah. Yeah, so, um, but cool. Yeah, but get out of here. Appreciate everyone coming in, hanging out with us. Uh, also, we got the uh, the new members that that you know Cleves uh, rejoined. So appreciate Cleves for rejoining. Uh, thank you so much. And then uh, Dre Mac show joining us for the first time with the members. You know, so shout out to him. Um, and also, you know, still got Danny, Brandon Davis. You know, uh, Zach Text Reviews, Omar, Big Ford, Mama Bear. Thank you guys for uh, for being uh, members as well. Appreciate yeah, definitely. it so much from you guys, man. They, you're able to support us like that. But cool. Unless you guys got anything else? Nope. Done for the night. Nope. Yeah. yeah. Checked Sounds out. good. Checked out. Exactly. <laughs> All right. Uh, we'll see you guys on Monday. If you want to watch some, let's talk about some football stuff tomorrow on Dynasty Pylon. Uh, Hopefully, I'm going to try to be there. Uh, Brian will probably be there, and or Brian will be and then uh, a few of our other football guys. So um, it's going to be fun. I'm getting ready for the draft. Getting ready for the draft, making moves, all that fun stuff. So if you're into NFL stuff, check us out. Link is in the description. But we are out of here. <laughs> I don't understand football. <laughs> we'll tell you all about it. We'll do a watch along. Yep. Yep. Have a great night. All right. Let's get Thank out of here. Guys. Thank you guys. Bye, guys. Later. Thank, thank you so much for joining. This program was made possible by viewers like you. Thank you.